Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you're having an absolutely wonderful evening. We've got an interesting game here tonight. We've got in the EU Challenger Cup, Arena Wolves versus Red Panda, I think it is. And uh, before we get into the match at hand, my name is Lockie 11 I'm joined on the co-cast by Doc Education. And on the sideline, we're going to have Menacing Meji. And of course, don't forget our cameraman, Wonder T-Man's here to do that all day. How are you feeling about it, Doc? Fantastic. Got my got my morning coffee. I'm on the West Coast Pacific time, so it's 10 a.m. for me. Uh, so good morning, good afternoon, yeah, good evening, wherever you are. I hope you're settled in. You got your tea, your coffee, whatever your whatever your little snacks are. And uh, we got an exciting one here: uh, Arena Wolves against Red Panda. Both of these teams. This is the bottom bracket, so both of these teams have lost one game each which means whoever loses this one will be eliminated. Whoever wins will need to win one more after this in order to uh, in order to punch their ticket. Yeah, I mean, I'm just interested to see how it goes. Uh, uh, these are teams that I don't see much play, but Arena Wolves, definitely more of an experienced team, I think, that have been playing longer together, whereas Red Panda, they're going to be playing with a roster I haven't seen before, knowing some of the players on the team, the legend... Uh, Presto21. In fact, I think I know all the players and the one I probably know the least is Wolf King. But still, I do know all the players and they are definitely talented players. I want to see where their synergy brings them in if they can manage to piece something together with this. Uh, but uh, before we mention anything else, Meji, how are you feeling about it? I'm feeling pretty excited about this match. Uh, my team played both of, both of these teams on the regular season. And I think they're both going to do a great job. Um, Arena Wolves have definitely been longer here than Red Panda. And I think that's going to come with their advantage. I think they're going to do a better match, at least in the first set. But Red Panda is going to definitely put up the fight. Yeah, for sure. I mean, over this entire Challenger Cup, it, it's, it's definitely a different game entirely. Rather than just the, the regular games, there's a lot more nerves, there's a lot more on the line. And you got to really work hard to get that master position, and especially for some of the ladder teams that don't go up against these master tier teams. And there is definitely a huge division between those master tier teams and those ones that don't yet make it, as you have to obviously get through this Challenger Cup cycle. And I believe Arena Wolves, they have played in, uh, they have played in master for a while. They managed to, to get in upon the first cycle and stay there for a while. And that's going to give them a lot of experience that potentially Red Panda don't have. And being a team that uh, I've not seen before and not have been a team for as long, I'd like to see what they bring to the table, if they bring something new to the table, and maybe if that's something is going to get them into Masters or not. It's a great point, Lockie. You talk about experience. You know, a lot of people talk about, obviously, skill, uh, skill of the individual players, uh, you know, obviously teamwork, but uh, a lot of what separates Master Tier is just, yeah, that depth of experience, that knowledge about context about what to do in a given situation uh how, how to keep your how to keep your nerves calm how to come back from uh, a round loss you know um all those all those little things can make can make the difference between a win and a loss and of course uh, at this level uh, those those differences are pretty fine yeah i mean if you if you surround yourself with players from a higher level you're gonna get better that's why we don't see as many master tier teams coming in but more players you see a lot of players coming up just out of nowhere and that's because they've been playing around maybe friends that they have in the master cycle but before i go on a rant we're gonna get into this game as soon as possible teams are readied up and let's get going ladies and gentlemen countdown on and the stacks are rumbling let's see who's gonna get there first and it's gonna be the side it's close but it will be red panda quick top immediately and the shot coming through immediately no save it bye Wolf King, as Wolf King sends the right hand clear now. Tempted to be picked up there in the midfield. Up into pocket as it is going to be taken by Antbot. Antbot's going to send it cross over to Wilfred. Wilfred now going to send it back. All the way to Game Tech. Back to Wilfred once again. Wilfred's going to put some distance between him and the enemy players. It's a good pass to that stack. They are pressured by that stack and that will make a turnover potentially as it goes empty. Handed for a little while. There's a goalie already back though and the shot won't be available. Yeah, great recovery there. Ambot tries to clear it through, but it's going to get trapped in that trap area. Actually, bounce right out uh, over across to the other uh, popcorn. Dino attempting the ender, but not fooled was the legend. Beautiful back pass to Faron, and it looks like they'll uh, they'll attempt to go with their stack. But no, what a jump! What a, a read! Hole. Oh, what? 
a delivery. Big time three by Ant Butt. Ant Butt with a, a, a brilliant goal to start and such an angle floating downwards towards the left and still manages to make that shot from a decent way out of the goal as now you see the QB. First QB of the game, first QB of the night. Three points up. Other side of Arena Wolves as Farron's going to take the disc. Red Panda crossing it over to the right-hand side. Legend's going to take it. No, he's not. Not managing to get a grab on that. Will he get punished for this? He puts up his shield. And Butt's going to use him as a block to get to the disc even faster. So now it's taken by Wilfred. Wilfred looking for this dribble play. Sends it down low for one time. Sends it down low a second time. Wilfred are oh, looking for a shot attempt. He's going to cross it over to the left to Game Tech. Game Tech finds it past the goalie's hands. Finds the two. Five points up. Wow, nice, nice work there. Great recovery. Wolves, you can tell, have come out absolutely in sync. A couple of beautiful dribbles there, dribbled past the back stack for the Red Panda, and just, just showing off some skill. Uh, so let's see what uh, what Red Panda does on their offensive rollout. Looks like a left side rollout, but they will pass to the right. Uh, gets out of the hands, but oh, what a steal by Ferron. Attempts to pass to the legend, but wasn't quite connected. Oh, what a recovery. Oh, but oh. what a jump by Wilfred. Clears through the midfield now. Gonna go down low left. Recollected maybe by Game Tech. He's gonna be chasing after it. He's gonna have to watch if someone else gets it, maybe. No, Legend won't get a hand on it. Trying to pass to this stack. Wilfred's gonna take the disc. Pressured by Legend once again. Looking for the right hand low pass. Oh, it's Legendary Dino. What a steal, but what a stun. As they manage to maybe get the disc back. No, the Legend's gonna get a hand on it. Sending it up high. Bouncing down low. Gonna be taken now by Wilfred. Wilfred sends it into the right hand tunnel. It's a fast one, but it's not gonna be accurate. Now, the Legends trailing just behind it. He won't get a hand on it, and no one will. It will go into the hands of Game Tech as Antbutt manages to get a hand on it. Antbutt now looking for this dribble play. No, it's not going to work as Presto takes the disc, sending it to this other stack as the Ghost Pass is going through. Wolf King's going to take the disc. Wolf King sends it back. Yeah, nice reset there. And it looks like even a, a further reset. So now it's Red Panda spreading out. Beautiful pass, unopposed from oh, below. Wow. Presto Changeo, two points on the board for the Panda. Wow, that that's uh, that's impressive to say the least. I mean, I don't know why the players just unmarked there on such an aggressive position, in such a dangerous position, but the bubble seemed defense seemed to have uh, got broken down entirely in that play. As now we see, pass into the left hand lane, no one on it just yet, and they've overshot entirely. Baron. Gonna take the disc stolen, however, as the shot goes through. No way, that's in. It's close, but it's not close. Not oh no, they're throwing open goal, and they've missed the two. As a somehow it dings for a second time. They get a second opportunity, however. Will they make it work? Wilfred's gonna send it up high. Second shot. No, it's a save off the head, but no into the pocket. Unfortunate as the legend gets a headbutt save into his own goal. Wow. Nice work there by the Wolves after a couple of very close misses, one from short range. Some nice passing in the bubble. So, uh, but Panda doing very well. Have two points on the board. Let's see what they do on their offensive rollout. Looks like a right side relay. Uh, the front stack from Wolves holding, waiting, but now they're stunned out. Great work by the goalie Wolf King. Wolf King is keeping them stunned out and broken up. It's a three on two situation. The stacks are still broken up in the backfield, uh, but the disc has already changed hands deep in the bubble now. Let's see if they can get it. No, the clear is good. Going up high, and Butt's going to take the disc. Looking for this left shoulder pass. Pac Man actually left dino, legendary dino. Takes the disc. Sends it back to Game Tech. Pressured by Presto. Oh, it's an inaccurate pass. Will Game Tech be able to recollect this? Yes, but not for long enough as Presto takes it. Presto may be going for a shot here. It's not going to be accurate. It's going to be a little low. Bouncing up high, however, into Ferron's hands. And Ferron, unchallenged, puts it in for the two. They put themselves at a three point deficit now. Nice work there. Good recovery in the chaos by Red Panda. On their second defensive joust of the evening, let's see what they elect to do. Only down by three. Four and a half minutes left, so both teams settling in here. Looks like a right side relay. Uh, there is a front stack from Red Panda. Pressure. They do have the turnover. Are they going to dribble? Yes. They throw it right in the hands, though, of Wilfred. So unfortunate location there for that one. Beautiful recovery, though. Now they have space. Moving to the left side. Beautiful pass in. Cutter. Yes. They're on. Yes. Great work by the Panda on the defensive joust. So four quick points. They've cut the lead down to one. Let's see what they can do here, Lockie. 
I mean, that's such a good passing play, and potentially they're going to be able to come back for this first round. It's such a crucial round in the first round to, to either destroy a team's mentality or keep it intact and help it along the way to get that first round as huge as a three-point attempt Ooh. here. Not accurate as Legendary Dino picks this one up. Will he, though? Yes, he will, but not for long as they take the steal. Send the shot over just for the three. No! Oh, my God, yet again, we have seen another mer of a pass and a shot. Oh, dear, that is terrible as Game Tech attempts for the clear. They will manage to get the clear all the way through now. We see a pickup by the legend, sends the clearance to the right-hand tunnel. Oh, not another missed shot, though. Wow. That clear, though, finally good. It's going to take a relocation off the Geo there. A beautiful back pass reset. Presto, maybe going to send it back again to the legend. Yes. So now they have fully reset. Presto moving over to the right side. Going to get the disc back. Wilfred adding pressure. So good two-man game right there. Uh, just creating space. Now the legend has space to operate. No one is opposing. So everyone's getting in better position. Oh, oh. What? wow. What a bold pass directly into the Wolf King. Uh, goalie got stunned out. Beautiful timing on that one. It was such a good attempt. They went for the goalie stun and looked for that three-pointer, but they weren't able to make it. It's a good clutch, though, from Wolf King to notice it's not actually going to go in and grab it after the ding. Really well done by him. As they've missed the disc, this is a huge opportunity to take a strong lead as they now recollect it. Presto is going to take the disc, sending it over to the left-hand side, looking for the legend. Legend's going to move up on the... Wolf, Veron's going to take it. Veron all the way up to Presto. Wow. Presto juke's oh, too wow. out, but no, Wilfred takes it back. What a save and what a juke. But it will be one in the hands of Wilfred. As Wilfred's going to send this clear, it's going to hang around in that tunnel. Recollected by Presto. What a read. They send the reset all the way back out to the legend. The legend looking for this left hand shot. Is that a shot? Is that in? No way he's hit that. It looks close. It might be in. It's not in. It's so close. They, they will recollect. The legend dunks in his own shot. Yeah, and that, uh, great great call out. It was very close to going in. And that's the thing about some of those shots. You know, if for newer players or players who are kind of getting into the level where you might take a shot like that, just go ahead for it. Because even if you miss, it turns into a great clear and your re-grabbing stack can come in and uh, and make you look good, get you, get you that assist, get those points still on the board. Um, you don't have to make the shot to have it be be a good attempt so now three points down red panda moving up a minute and a half left so a time kind of ticking down they still do have time for two twos but definitely need to move oh that misconnection is going to hurt them presto can they clear it out no it looks like it's going to be caught in the popcorn area uh but it will be recovered by the wolves oh spoke too soon oh okay Beautiful recovery. So time ticking down, one minute left. Any score by the Wolves will basically put the game out of reach. So big time opportunity here. Game tech. Oh, oh no. Oh, the legend puts the Panda up by five. That is unfortunate. Just, I, I don't understand sometimes when you're in a pressured situation like that, you just have to slap it out. When there's people all around you and pressuring you and you've managed to somehow get the disc in a defense situation like that, you just have to get it out. It doesn't matter if it's a bad clear or a good clear. They're going to go for this attempt here, looking for a fast play, and they are going to have to play fast. They must score soon. Oh, no, it's a missed pass. And they're going to have to recollect quickly. 20 seconds. I don't think it's possible anymore. Nope, it is not. That is going to be the first round over to Red Panda as they will look for some more points. Legendary Dino sending it down low. Game Tech's not ready for that. And he will recollect. He will send the reset attempt. Going to bounce into Antbot's hands. Oh, no. Antbot stunned out. Wolf King takes the disc. Wolf King goes for a clear. That is round one going to the side of Pandas. And it's weird because it looked like the Arena Wolves were coming out on top for a long time. And they were doing very well. But I'll come back. Uh, anyway, enough of me. Meji, please take it away. Well, as you said, we have seen like two differentiated uh, halves of the game. In the first half, we have seen uh, Arena Wolves taking the lead by five points, and we have seen smart back passes from them and fast tags, and they definitely had the chemistry to win this set. But Red Panda put on a big pressure. Red Panda really took advantage of um, the bad defense from Arena Wolves, really not on point um, this round. And in general, both teams were pretty nervous and they lost the disc pretty frequently. And that's something we have seen uh, work in favor of both of them. We have seen them taking advantage of um, lost discs 
And we have seen in the latter half um, good passes from Red Panda, definitely doing way, way better than the first half. And definitely coming on top of Arena Wolves, really taking this to the next level. And we can see, we can see the stakes are pretty high here. They're both really nervous and they both know that if they lose, they're going to get eliminated. Yeah, this is their opportunity to, to show the world what they can do, to show everyone what they can do. You can potentially get into Master and it's such, it's such a big impact for one, isn't it? This is like, the this is a big Challenger Cup as well. The one not before uh, finals, but the last one before the one before finals. So the penultimate one, it's a big one to go through. But we're back into this action immediately and let's see what happens. We already have a grab. Steel immediately coming through as now Wolf King's looking to recollect. Wolf King sends it down low, gonna bounce up high, maybe into the hand of Game Tech. Game Tech does manage to take it and goes for the clear in the left hand tunnel. And what a clear it is! It's gonna go all the way through, potentially towards the goal. It's gonna hit that block there though and stop its track towards the goal. This caught in the trap. Nice grab by Wilfred. Goes down low, passes up. Maybe needs a reset. Yes, goes back. Wilfred uh, and Ampbutt kind of a little bit too close together. Presto adding a lot of pressure and does get the turnover. Disc now bouncing in the mid, that regrabbing stack coming in. So uh, early days, Red Panda is absolutely flying again right into the goal, continuing where they left off, continuing their run. Wolves have not scored for uh, a good long time in this game. Uh, so definitely going to need to pick it up here. I mean, uh, early days, only a minute into this round, only down two points. But definitely with the scoring drought they had going into the last round, Lockie, uh, got to be feeling it a little bit. Yeah, where is their momentum? And maybe they're going to be able to find it here as this floats high up. They will recollect, but the pressure's coming in. What a pass under pressure. Wilfred under pressure again, and he takes a shot for two. Wilfred, ah, finds that angle somehow, floating away from the goal and manages to get it. Two to two, the tie game. Wow, I mean, that's, as you said, the first goal in a long, long time. We were just talking about how the momentum for Arena Wolves has disappeared, but there it is, back in the flesh. Moving up, nice pass over to the left side. Uh, Presto, though, getting pressured, and but beautiful shot. Oh, game oh. tech, game time. What a slam, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Like we said, kind of feeling a little bit of uh, mental pressure was Arena Wolves. Now they put four points on the board. They got a two-point lead. See what they can make of it now. Is see another just advantage coming in from the side. Red Panda and immediately in a steal and potentially a turnover as Game Tech's the closest one to it. Is Game Tech going to be able to pass this one out? Yes. Legendary done with another brilliant pass to turn around, facing away from the goal and find Antbuck on the shield. What a play as Antbuck puts it in for two. Four point lead now. And they are just storming ahead. Is this how they get their points? Is it based off the weak? QB of the side of Red Pandas because this is seemingly what's getting them points right now. They haven't been able to get out of their half right now. Look at this stack. It's so fast. They're playing, I think, a, a blast joust where they push one player going all the way to the QB and then a secondary stack pushing that first pass. They look to recollect this one and go for the three potentially. It's open and it's in! And but back to back, this time a three. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, great call out, uh, Lockie. Wolves have switched up to a 1-2-1 style uh, defense. So they're sending one at the QB. They're sending another, their stack into the mid area. And uh, it's causing a lot of chaos. So let's see what they do. Okay, responding with the dribble play. But that stack again, reacting. Oh Can they recover it? No, that would have been an easy three again. But they do get it due to Wolves. So up nine to two with six and a half minutes left. This entire feel of this oh, match is turned around. But look at that. That is the re that is the regrad that they needed. Two stacks flying in. Is it a three? No. Missing out on one point, but collecting two are the Panda. It's now nine to four. Yeah, and that stack was impressive to, to, to notice the player's got his back turned for just a second. And that's the moment. That's the moment where you just have to put all out speed into the equation and hit the man as quick as possible so he can't be prepared for it. They now go for a dribble play of their own, copying off Red Panda, but look at that stun coming in, but look at the secondary stack. What a play as they manage to recollect this, passing it out, it's a good pass, but it's a little bit high. What an option to take though. Good choice, just bad execution as this 
Close pass, nice and slow, all the way to that player as Wolfwood's gonna take this pressure there by Wolf King. What pressure from him as he has to run away and try and make this pass. Wolf King's gonna keep that pressure up, but look at the passing blade, it's gonna work. And extra pressure added on top from Baron, but a steal comes from Wilfred. Clear now comes from the side of Arena Wolves as they look to recollect. Sorry, no, comes from Red Panda. Arena Wolves do recollect. Oh no! And they've lost it with three players on the disc to something like a headbutt or something like that. Oh dear, as the disc goes all the way back in the hands of Yeah, Wilfred got a great stun out on the jumping stack from the Panda. They were going to move and collect that and get that score. So, uh, But now it's... Oh! What? Goes off the player's head. So a couple of missed opportunities on, on both sides here. Wilfred does recollect. Five point lead. Five minutes to go under pressure. Does get the pass off Wilfred now with the disc. Pressured by Farron and by UK. Oh, oh no. a little bit behind the cutting game tech. And now it looks like there's going to be multiple red pandas in the area. Uh, they will get it. Do they clear it out? Yes. Stack is, uh, well, at least somebody got a bump moving. Presto in the area. Big time three. Oh, oh no. by Wilfred. What a save! The no-look save, I believe! And it is spectacular! What a play from Wilfred R! Absolutely amazing! You do not see that much! Oh my god, and what a clutch play! Will they be able to make something off of it? They're gonna have to defend yet again. Presto sends it on the cross. Oh, it's a missed catch! They must save again, but not this time as the Legend secures that one indefinitely! Legend sends it top pocket! Boom! Ooh. Everybody's firing on all cylinders now, huh, Lucky? Yeah, for sure. Uh, that, that that whole play there, the defense was just so strong, and I, I didn't expect to see that that save. I mean, it, it, it absolutely blew me away, because you never see that in this game. There's maybe a shot here. Backboard taken by Game oh, Tech. Wow. Stolen with the stun as Wilfred goes for it yet again, but no, Presto's going to fight in three people, and he's going to destroy them all and manage to get the disc. Wolf King's going to send the clear. Look at this stack. They're backing up once again. Not going to be able to get a hand over it as they overshoot. And now Wolf King's going to back it out all the way over to the legend. Great back out, now sends it back in. Oh no, under pressure. The stacks are moving very fast, but the passing, so good for the Panda. Now they've gone back to Presto. Presto under pressure from game. Game over to, uh, oh sorry, Presto there. Oh, the legend on the backside. So the Panda has upped their game, even with all the pressure that we're seeing from the Wolves on the offensive side, on the defensive side. Some insane saves. Some insane uh, half 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 court regrabbing stacks from uh, from the wolves, but the panda is responding. They're going for this dribble play again, and I'm not sure about. It. I saw it the other night, and it. It seems to be working for them for now, but it's not a sound QB, I don't think. As Game Tech takes it, sends a shot, and what a save. All four players in the bubble ready to stop that one as the disc bounces just above the goal legend. Oh, my. He's got, he's got all the time in the world. I don't know what he was going for there. Maybe he was looking for the three and then realized he doesn't have the time for that. Or maybe he was just going for the style points. He looks away, puts it in the goal. Nine to ten. It's a one-point deficit for the side of Arena Wolves. They're going to have to get something on the board for two minutes. Got plenty of time to work with. I mean, may not look like it, but that is a lot of time in Echo. Plenty of goals can be still scored. This game could go anywhere. It is, but you can see maybe their nerves starting to get to them. Oh, and mm. but in the side. Oh, what a what a save. Aww. Presto read that perfectly. Although right back, Wilfred, goal is open for the moment. Presto gets back in goal. A minute and 40 seconds left. Every goal is huge. Cool. That pass just a little bit off. It looks like the Panda is going to re-grab there. Wolf King and Farron. Goal's open. Oh, just oh barely God. missed. Any goal right now for the Red Panda is going to put a ton of pressure on. They don't need to score, but uh, oh my. a minute and 20 left. Their lead is not secure here. Two times the disc floats by goal, and no one seems to catch it from the side of Arena Wolves. And that's going to go punished, maybe. No, Ooh. it's a save, but it goes in anyway. And But, oh, no, that is unfortunate. As you just said, they got a lot of pressure on their hands right now. They have to look for two twos. Oh, they're going to have to look for that three, and that is a hard three to get, especially against uh, another very good team. And th these players are definitely aware of, of what pressure the side 
Oh, wait, is the goal open? This is a potential here as they send the pass across the right low over to Anbat. Anbat's gonna duck down, maybe send this pass away. Backboard, slam shot. Oh, no, oh, he's no. been too quick with it. And there's another too quick. Oh, oh my God. But no, Miss Clear, this is havoc in their own bubble and no one seems to be able to get a clear. Wilfred slaps it down. They still have time. They're going to have to look at this three, though, sometime soon. Goalie's getting stunned out. They push for the two. Off the head, off the ding. Now Anbud's going to look for this three. He sends the shot. There's no goalie, but Baron gets hands on it. Wilfred now sending the th What is going on? This is amazing from the side of Red Pandas. They've done so well to defend that. And what an attempt from Arena Wolves as they'll have one last try here. But all the goalies in the world... We'll leave them with no options. What a finish. Meji, what's going on, man? Yeah. I, I, I can't believe what happened there. They were both so nervous. We all knew, they all knew the stakes that they were. And they, wow. I mean, well, I'm gonna get technical. I'm gonna get technical. Um, it was the same exact scenario as the first round. Um, on the on the first half, Arena Wolves really, really, really took advantage of them and put in the pressure. Even though, even though Red Panda went down with the momentum, we saw Arena Wolves really, really, really showing what they are capable of. But Red Panda, my God, Red Panda in the latter half, they popped off. They popped off. They they made really really good passing plays. They made really really good steals and the defense. The defense was fantastical. I mean, you all saw it on the last minute. That's the red panda defense right there. It's all pressure and they won't even let them rest for even a second. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Uh, and uh, I'm so impressed with Red Pandas to, to manage to hold down that entire defense. Um, we'll be back shortly. We will definitely be back shortly for another game. I'm just blown away by that. Um, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back so shortly. See you soon.
Uh, we'll maybe change the character of this. We'll, have to, we'll see momentarily. So Mentimori off of that relay sends that one in. They have one deep. Skag trying to pick that one up, but it will be off the boot, and it does turn over. Angry fight. Sends that one out. 35 seconds. They need two goals here. Uh, they could be two, so Skag will get that one picked off. Sent it back out. 28 seconds. They need to go literally right now. It's not going to happen. As Ruskin, long shot, hits it for the ice. There will be three seconds on the clock, but with a seven-point lead, Ivy will be taking this game, and unfortunately, nothing to lose. We'll be out, relegated back to the ladder. Back to the ladder, and all they can do is work again and try and get back to this tournament for the next one, uh, because they are eliminated, and it is going to be Ivy. Uh, still have a long way to go here. They got to win a couple more games today, but hey, they've done the big, important first step, and winning this one in three rounds, uh, they are going to get to play right away again uh, to stick with it and to see if they can earn themselves a spot in Master. So, uh, so with that, uh, looks like our channel, uh, the, the main channel is also already done, and this is the only game we're going to be doing here on channel two. Uh, yell at me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly certain. I'm 90, 95% certain. You are completely go. correct. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, we will, uh, we will be ending this one after this. So uh, thank you for joining us here on channel two. Uh, then uh, we will be uh, co uh, uh, combining uh, into a main channel uh, in some capacity. I know I'm going to be hopping over offbeat. I think uh, you're going to be on more today. We are taking over. We are completely kicking out the casting there team on go. Channel 1 and replacing them. Well, there you go. So uh, join us over there on the uh, the main channel and in venues and wherever else we might be live right now, which is a lot of places. Until uh, then, uh, yeah, congratulations to uh, Ivy as they move on to the next round, and we're, we will uh, likewise move on to the next round. So with that, uh, since we are going to be closing this channel out, I've been Monsieur Demuy. That was Offie. We had uh, Newton Dad on the camera so thank you for joining us and we will see you very shortly
Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, welcome back to uh, this very special venues broadcast. We have the uh, the, the European Challengers Cup uh, now in the booth. I am Matsuda, and we joined by Offbeat. We uh, we just transferred out here over. Uh, we just transferred over here uh, from the uh, from the North American branch uh, over on Channel Two. That makes sense. Uh, also on the cameras, Wonder Team Man still, and uh, we also got the uh, the 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 not menacing Mayhe, he uh, helping us out uh, from the mod team uh, and uh, very excited for this match uh, this is another offbeat this is another uh... I'm sorry veggie is sideline and is it not Mayhe? have I always said that wrong no it, it is cool you can say it whatever you want I mean in Spanish it's Mejie but uh, I don't mind well, is it how do you pronounce it I mean, I let people in English say Meiji, so that's not a problem with me. Oh, but it is, it is, it is a soft J though. It's supposed to be Mechi. Yeah, oh, I Mechi, the yeah. Rock. I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> you got it, you got it. I'll do that. I'll stay with the H version of it, but I think, uh, uh, cause I, I will, I will screw that up. Oh my goodness, Mechi. I can't, that's so unnatural for me. But Mehi, I can do. 
Uh, as uh, as uh, Offbeat is, is is just laughing exceptionally hard over there. Offbeat, this is a this matchup here is we're gonna get started. Uh, uh, these two teams are once again. This is a, a an elimination game. I never even got to the point. Uh, as I am <laughs> off the ball, we're starting here. Let's go. We're going. We can we can talk about what this game means later. But you know, if you've been following around, you know what's going on here. Is right quick in this is gonna be Ivy. Ivy uh, coming off of a very exciting match over on uh, Channel Two, and they are wasting no time getting going here. Uh, putting this one in only seven seconds in, grabbing a quick, quick 2-0 lead. As uh, it will be now uh, back to Red Panda. See if they can match that speed. Might be a little harder, but you know. I have faith as, oh no, there comes that stack, that stack that we saw so much from Ivy in round one. And just like that, four nothing, let him roll as Ivy uh, has all the momentum Mori, thanks to momentum Mori. There you go. Uh, so yeah, no, this, uh, that's, I'm gonna have to watch out for that stack. That stack is, is what was doing a lot of uh, uh, heavy lifting in that, in that game. They won uh, against uh, nothing to lose. As Wolf King, Wolf King will send this one to the near side. Fair and though, lose his hand on it. Metamori will pick it off. That stack is still doing work here. Metamori sending that one in, but unfortunately, it will be a, another turn over there. Wolf King on the back line gets it picked off. We are just over a minute in, minute 11. Is that, look at that stack. Oh, both teams having stacks running around. Uh, Ruskin, big clear, though the bounce is going to get that one away from that that uh, that backing defensive stack, that they will get it here. So some ping pong. Start us off here after those first few goals, as uh, as Red Pandas are, are attempting to uh, to get a, a solid position there. They do presto the shot that picked off by Skag who clears it again. A uh, big missed opportunity with the goalie stun there, but they couldn't quite get a shot on goal to kind of turn it back around as the disc bouncing dangerously into the bubble. It is going to be Ivy getting back to it first, but no, the defense doing a good job to get back and apply pressure there and slap it out. But, uh, oh, I was going to say it is back to the defensive stack there, and it will be as Halo is going to pick that one up and move in with some space here. No real pressure from Heinz. They've got a couple options, uh, but it is going to be on making the read there, getting the stun and getting the clear as they push it deep into the Ivy zone. Look the stack there with the headbutt. Wolf King will get that one uh, away from Memento Mori over there to Faron. Faron, the resetting this one with the Legend on the back line. Legend sending that one in. Uh, unfortunately, it's off the mark. The stack is able to get there. That Skag and Memento Mori again. For the clear, they have to stop up, pick it up. Skag, long shots, going to be off the backboard, then off the post. Almost making its way in, but Wolf King will get there and clears it out. Presto with a big pickup. They have the stack, they're chaining after it. They get the good dribble in, the legend bringing it up. Too many men in the goal, but the shot's gonna go wide and uh, inadvertently uh, send itself out. Memento Mori, long heave, that one also low out of the bubble. Yeah, low, but still able to uh, do a good job of getting that bounce, reading the bounce well and able to move in and pick it up. Uh, they are moving now two on two. Oh, as the goalie makes the save, but gets stunned by Memento Mori in the back of the head. And Memento is just gonna pull that one right back into the goal. For two points as uh, Ivy continuing to roll here. Maybe slowing it down a little bit as we had a two minutes uh, between goals there after that uh, lightning start. But they do have a 6-0 lead now as Red Panda has had a couple chances where they've gotten down into the zone but haven't been able to finish on anything yet. And as now they look to see if they can turn that around. But no, that stack from Ivy is doing a good job of applying pressure and they force that one to fall loose. But it will uh, still be picked up by uh, Preston, Presto sent in. Oh, but the defense, all of the defense back in the goal for that one to keep that one out. Uh, they're still not able to get it cleared though as it is still maintained by Red Panda. Back now to Wolf King. Wolf King with lots of space moving in from the boot. Got man behind the goal, but the pass is wide and that's gonna bounce back out. Uh, Doesn't make its way to the near side. Uh, trap there, the stack does get there. Momentum Orient Skag. And uh, that's, uh, that, I've been playing that song literally on repeat for the last probably 20 or 30 minutes, that song Memento Moray. Uh, if you haven't heard it, if you're into heavy metal, definitely check it out. It's Skag, since this one on your side, I was off the mark, will be collected though by, well, by Skag himself. Off the, the stack with Memento Moray, gets an opportunity, Ooh. 1v1, but the shot's gonna be off of the post. And then out there's the, the legend himself, or herself, sends this one out, or they self, is uh, Presto. Look to get there on the near side, does. Oh, what a setup there, Faron. Big cross pass, goalie is a little bit out of position and that is enough to get the Red Pandas on the board here in round one. They cut that lead down to four.
Yeah, only so much as a goalie you can do there when you're suddenly facing down a three-on-one. You need to be concerned about the stun coming from behind. You got to be concerned about the cross pass and also uh, that initial shot coming in. And there's, <laughs> and as you can see there, couldn't quite do everything as it is Red Panda getting their first points of the round. But here comes that quick stack back the other way. Oh, just missing that one, but they do pick it up. Save wow. by Presto. Uh, no, next to no time to react to that, but does a great job getting that hand on the disc as the stacks uh, coming back the other way for Red Panda aren't quite able to settle on it. And it will get picked up here by Ivy. That's Memento Mori. Me throwing it all the way down as they're going to look to clear and stack after it again. They're the first to it. There's only one back for the goalie, but nope. That is going to be Skag putting that one in before anyone can get set up and uh, canceling out any momentum Red Panda might have had, uh, regaining that six point lead now up eight to two. Wonder T Man, do me a favor. When we're uh, in between games, say hey, Demi, make sure you publish those clips because that 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 save, that tracking you got on that that one save there, uh, was 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 masterful, and it's a great shot. I, I really want to use it in some uh, some stuff there. Uh, so make sure make sure uh, I do my job as Ruskin. Although uh, I should I should make sure I do my job. Farron stunned out. Memento Mori with the pickoff. God, it was so beautiful though. Oh, that one almost going in, going uh, just wide. Skag's not able to get a hand on it. Wolf King will instead. They get a good clear. They have a stack after. Two stacks will be a race. Oh, there it is again. Skag and Memento Mori are just burning it up uh, all over this arena. Another one. Skag, lock shot. Goal is open. Goes just high out of the bubble. That stack has been getting there so often. Here comes the back stack, though, as it's going to be H-Low uh, looking to get that in. First shot doesn't fall. Second attempt. That one's going to be put in as Halo is going to put that one in after a couple of chances. Uh, 10 to 2 lead now as Ivy just seems really in control of this game. Uh, they've been relentless, especially on that play here. Just, you know, first one doesn't fall, second try, third try, whatever it takes to get it in. And Red Panda just has not been able to keep up with that level of intensity. And uh, 74k in the chat asking why only this channel can we see other games? Uh, there are, uh, the other games aren't playing right now. Uh, so Synergy versus Men, which is the next one we're going to, which could play at the same time, uh, is waiting on this game. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you're not you're not missing any games here. Uh, just put the bracket in the chat there. If you if you follow the bracket, we're in uh, game 11. Then we'll be going to game 12, uh, and then uh, after that we'll be following up uh, game uh, not 13, I think. Uh, actually, yeah, game 13 uh, for the final game. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you're not missing anything, uh, and, and there are no other games going on right now. This is the only uh, the only Echo Arena action. Uh, on TV at the moment, the only uh, the only one that matters, anyways. Uh, Skag, shout out to uh, to uh, to Ignite. Uh, respect. This Presto, we'll get that one turned over, turned around, and sent away. I think actually Vertex has been running a stream as well for the last. Anyways, Wolf King sending this one in. Flat bounce. Those are dangerous, but that shot's gonna be wide. That shot gonna be wide, and the clock is now starting to become the enemy. Good steal there, though, from Presto. Just as I'm saying, they get that long three. I was gonna say they're running out of time to really start turning this around, but that's exactly what the doctor ordered, as it is gonna be Presto putting that one in for a long three. And with two minutes left on the clock now, uh, they've suddenly made themselves a made this game a much more manageable uh, feat if they want to pull the comeback here. As it is now, Ivy going to see if they can put a squash uh, to that momentum as they get the long clear here. But that stack is going to be back on the side of Red Panda. So they'll slow it up here and they'll look to clear through the tunnel, see if they can get a counter attack of their own going. And uh, Ivan uh, asking if, uh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 wow, the legend. What a turnover. Hits that one. 12 meters out. Good for the three. Bringing the team back within two here. Uh, but to finish that thought, uh, Ivan Thrive asking uh, whenever this game goes to master, no. Uh, this is still an elimination game, but the, these two teams still have to win each of them. Uh, if they want to get to master, they have to win two more games. Uh, so the, the, loser of this, the, the loser of this game is out. The winner of this game goes to one more game, and then they will be playing the loser of the upper bracket game that's going to happen after this one. So there's three more games, uh, and they... they uh, the other one's waiting for this, but then the, the one after that follows is the, the loser of that game, the winner of this game. Uh, as H, uh, excuse me, Halo on the far side there. I want to call, I, I keep someone to say h low like j -Lo. I know that's wrong. 54 seconds on the clock. And Skag bringing it in off the head of Presto. <laughs> Puts it in, four point lead. That might just be the ice. That might be the ice as, oh, that one hurts because you were in position. Uh, you were where you needed to be. You read it well, just not well enough, not able to get the hands up in front of the face for that one as, yeah, that one is going to be uh, a 
a dagger to the heart as now they are find themselves down for a critical four points as they stack uh and they get it moving they're moving the disc quickly if they wanted to have a chance at this uh, but they're gonna have to put one in really quick and it doesn't look like that's gonna happen oh. is that oh good little save by uh, halo on the back to kind of grab that one off the goal line they are gonna clear it out and with 13 seconds left on the clock that is going to mean uh that they are going to be running out of time here as red panda is gonna drop this first round here uh to ivy who is continuing to play that exact same style we saw from them in their first game today continuing it over looking strong here in round one and uh, with that as a good intermission, we will toss it over to Medicine, uh, not Medicine, I'm oh, sorry, that's such a habit. I apologize, we're gonna toss it over to Mickey uh, for the other, uh, the, the uh, some some analysis. What's up, Mickey? Uh, what's up, Ding? Not much, but I'm gonna tell you how this went, because we have seen two unstoppable, unstoppable force and a movable object collide, because we have seen Red Panda doing so well in the last match, and we have saw Ivy as well doing a very good match. And I think what happened was that Ivy was there with momentum. And then they just smacked Red Panda in the face and said, Hey, hey, stop it there. We are here and we're not going to let you through. But Red Panda didn't give up at any moment. There was a moment where they scored five points in 40 seconds. So that means they're going to still keep up putting the fight. Even though Ivy has been pretty much superior to them. But I think it was an overall um, equal match. So I think it can go um, both ways. It's a pretty equal match, and there is no saying here that it could be it could be going to round three, and we could be seeing a very very good match. Thank you very much for that, Mehi. As uh, we are going to get back here, round two immediately getting underway here, and uh, yeah, game high points. Currently to uh, oh no, I was looking at nope, I got tricked. Legend, though, is game high for it's a five, but what's really interesting, saves. The number of saves in this game uh, offbeat are obscene. I'm um, counting kind of seven there for Ivy, it's six for Red Pandas. Uh, and they're spread, across, they're spread across the other the teams quite evenly as Ivy's looking for an opportunity here on offense. Uh, that pass a little bit off, but it's interesting how many saves we've seen in this game. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's kind of a testament to how uh, stack-heavy both of these teams have been playing with those stacks. Kind of, they take the shot and they get the save, and here's coming in. Oh, there's that stun, <laughs> that nasty little stun, as uh, Halo is just going to walk that one in and tuck that into the top corner uh, to give Ivy that first lead. Uh, but yeah, when you've got teams that are stacking so much and are zooming back and forth, they're taking those long, quick shots, the other stack is getting back to stop them. It's games like that where you really do start those, see those saves uh, start to pile up as uh, now it is going to be uh, Red Pandas who want to get back into this one, don't want to let this one get away from this. That first one uh, kind of did near the end, and that's not going to help as Ruskin making a great little stun and clear there. And look at that stat. Oh, they ever shoot that one. Uh, they had the speed, but they did not have the stack here, see. As this one makes it. Oh, <laughs> the punch! The disrespect from Aventa Mori! The shot of the legend. Easy save. Picks that one off. Sends it out. Who was it that came up with stack here, see? I can't remember anymore. Wonder, do you remember? Was that. Uh, was it. Was it. Uh, was it B Love? Smooth Ride. Is that, was that a Smooth Riding one? Uh, I, th I think you're right. I think you're right. It was uh, Smooth Ride. Is this one uh, here, Skag? Picking it up, looking for the clear out through that near side tube. Not quite going to happen, but uh, yeah, shout out to Smooth Riding for, uh, for stack your seat. Uh, as uh, we all know, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no. Oh, they got the recovery, you got the two points. Still going to go up by four, but uh, ooh. Yeah, Memento really trying uh, to line up that three and get the three uh, in time before that stack could get back, but still leave himself enough time to get the two uh, should it all fall apart. Uh, the three missed, but fortunately did come right back to him off the bounce there. And just like that, uh, Ivy has themselves a 4-0 lead here as it is now Red Pandas. They're trying to slow it down here as much as they can with that stack. Uh, but <laughs> like we said, there comes that stack. It's pursuing that disc. And if the pass is a little off as it is there, they're going to recover that. They're going to clear it through. And here comes the stack but the, back the other way. They're going to be first to it. There's no one else there. And oh, the legend getting back just in time. But... <laughs> but not able to keep it out of the net, knocking that back into the goal as uh, Ivy now up 6 nothing. And here comes uh, the timeout. Good time to take that one, in my opinion. Yeah, probably, yeah, you really want to... You really want to uh, <laughs> get that momentum under control. The, uh, the, the momentum mori? <laughs> ah. 
I see. I, I, you, you did it first, so it's I'm stealing it, but it's an obvious steal because everyone witnesses the steal. It's it's a tribute now. It's a tribute. There you go. I like that. It's not it's not theft. It's a tribute. Uh, this. Uh, yeah. I, I I used to. Anyways, I was gonna go. Uh, so we've got a timeout here. <laughs> you know, this is a good time. I wonder if uh, I I wonder if I if I did the nope. I do got it. This is a good time to pull up the uh, the list here, offbeat. And read out one of our uh, one of our new uh, uh, spots, uh, one of our uh, promo spots, because uh, we have a lot of awesome sponsors here in the VRMO. Uh, in fact, you know what I am going to push. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to push a sponsor. I'm going to push Patreon. Because uh, uh, those of you who may not be aware, VRML uh, is happy to announce, uh, although previously announced, the launch of the official VRML Patreon as VR continues to grow. So does VRML. We've been seeing the exponential growth across multiple leagues with hundreds of new players joining into the VR eSport community. I would even say thousands of new players. So as such, we want to continue to expand and evolve VRML around this growth. By joining the VRML's Patreon, you're helping support VRML and achieving our mission to create a fair, community-driven, and welcoming competitive environment for all players by supporting all facets of our community. And that would be at patreon.com forward slash VRML. Really simple uh, address. So remember there as uh, Offbeat gets uh, censored in the chat and doesn't know it. <laughs> I'm just so uh, used to throwing in links for all our, uh, we're looking yeah, for, for creators plugs. So, well, this, uh, I believe this uh, chat might be uh, particularly overactive uh, in, in that, in that department. So if you don't have the sword next to your name, any links just get starred, but the person who posts it doesn't get told. Uh, it's actually, a, it's actually, a, 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 that's, a, that's a calculated measure by, uh, the bot creator, whatever, basically the the user. If you're trying to fight spam, the this the the spammer is less likely to like go make a new account or something uh, if they don't know or they try to get around the spam block if they don't know they're being spam blocked. But now you've that's let the cat the out of the bag, so that's all that's all ruined uh, now. So, so now we know Offbeat's <laughs> gonna be hacking chat here in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, so everybody, be careful. As uh, I see some no uh, stretches, oh, no stretches. A Stefo saying men. Uh, yes, men. Uh, we will be seeing them in the next game. As far as uh, there it is, there's the stretches. That's what I was hoping to see. Uh, and wow. there's the link. VRML admin, there we go, putting the link to the Patreon in there for us. That uh, very handy little sword thing that I I got to get myself a sword. How does one get a sword? Uh, well, on this channel, it's actually a little. It's it's a more difficult than the others. Uh, since all the games, all the various games in leagues use this channel. Uh, it's it's harder to get that out because otherwise you know, they, they, uh, you end up with an, an abundance of mods that uh, I think they're trying to uh, keep the uh... well I'm not sure uh, I don't even know to be honest I don't know why I have it uh, I'll just bring my I, own sword to the chat next there time. you go uh, wait maybe don't do that I don't know I don't know the rules on weapons in, at Twitch anyways Faron since what up as we're back it oh no. Halo gets a hand on it, but it goes in nonetheless. That's going to be two points on the board for the Red Pandas. Yeah, Red Pandas uh, clearly uh, putting that timeout to good use. Uh, as This is exactly what they needed to get out of it. They needed to get a pause. They needed to kind of slow down uh, the momentum that that IV stack had and uh, get themselves back into a position here. As that stack coming in, as they're a little slow to grab that disc, and the stack is going to be pick it up. It is uh, going to be Red Panda with the disc here. They're going to choose to send it back and slow it down as the legend looking across. He got an open man on boost, cutting in across. And oh, what a cut pass uh, to Wolf King from Firon. And just like that, they are really uh, turning things around after this timeout, at least in the early going here. Now having cut that lead to only two points. And uh, Kool-Aid, uh, I will answer this question uh, out loud because uh, there's a little bit to it. So Kool-Aid asking, uh, why is this not on the VRML Echo Arena Twitch? Uh, the VR, the uh, VRML Echo Arena Twitch is, uh, is, is uh, uh, affiliate, uh, which means we're not supposed to restream uh, while streaming there to other platforms. Uh, since we, uh, we have an agreement with venues, we do so many streams uh, during the season, including these tournaments. We stream to venues, it's passed across there. Uh, we, we end up... Uh, uh, we can't restream as we still want to stream to Twitch, so we can't use the, that the affiliate stream because we're restreaming uh, to venues. But that's also why, because since we're already uh, at that point of restreaming, we restream to YouTube and Facebook Gaming, and uh, uh, occasionally as well. Uh, there's another one that uh, I think it's Smash.gg uh, that we uh, the, we restream to as well periodically. So uh, yeah, so there is a there's kind of a, a, a cost benefit 
uh, scale there to it. There's a plus and a minus as Ruskin gets this one cleared out here for Ivy all the way out of the blue bubble. The legend, though, with the pick off here on defense, turning this one around and uh, gets it through that near side tube. Skag, though, is going to be able to get it recovered. Yeah, Skag is going to get it and try to toss it back in and gets a good bounce uh, that bounces right to Ruskin, actually looking across. Oh, just out of the reach of Memento Mori, but Memento Mori doing a good job following that up and getting the good bounce shot from underneath as uh, Ivy uh, stops this 4-0 run that we were seeing from Red Panda uh, with some points of their own, uh, re-establishing that four-point lead as we now have 440 left in this critical second round. Uh, reminder that Ivy did win that first round, so really Red Panda uh, does still really need to start pushing and get uh, get that lead back if they want to continue ahead in this tournament and uh, keep pushing for that shot at Master. Uh, sending there, though, the legend of the slap. I was looking for a slap pass to Presto. Presto didn't read it, though. Uh, but the legend gets it recovered here. In the near side trap, gonna send this one across there as that chain splits up. Farron on the back line. Uh, taking on that stack there, gets the stack broken up. That's a big opportunity. They've got a 3v2. If they get attacked, no, the stack's got enough time to get back together, and that will be a turnover there, Ruskin. That is a that was a lost opportunity there. So, oh no, there's a big opportunity. Cashing them in transition. Presto to, to the legend. Brings it back within two here, less than four minutes to go, but uh, the, the Red Pandas are coming back. Yeah, uh, the man, the myth, the legend reaching across the body with the one arm to grab that disc and just fling it back across into the goal. Not much the goalie could really do there to stop that one that came and went so quickly as this now is back within a one score game uh, as Red Panda really seems to have kind of stabilized here and they do get back with that stack on the back end to pick up the disc. Uh, not able to clear it cleanly, but uh, fortunately for them, the IV stack had uh, long since retreated and so they have some time to kind of move it up here at their own pace. It's Wolf King with the disc looking to clear it ahead is going to get all the way into the zone and they do have someone going to come in from underneath. That's Presto. Presto looking across to Fearon. Fearon, oh, they're moving in. They've got the two on two here and there's the goalie stun from Presto as Fearon is going to put that one in and we have ourselves a tie game. We have ourselves a tie game. There needs to be a song. I need to be able to sing the, the tie game song. Well, that doesn't exist, but I, I want it to. Somebody figure that out. Somebody figure that out. Pronto. As uh, too many songs about, us here. Too many yeah. songs about uh, victories and defeats. Not enough about ties. You're right. You know, you are right about that. What is with that? It's a conspiracy by big media. Anyways, uh, it's going to be a turnover here once again. Uh, <laughs> oh, the legend shot there goes wide. Uh, we'll be out of the bubble, picked off now by Farron. Farron over to Presto. Long shot, excuse me, that was a long setup. Uh, but off of the mark as it makes its way out of the bubble. Memento Mori will clear that one out, all the way out. Hits the other uh, the there. Although defense will get there first. The legend with another turnaround and clear. Yeah, turn around and clear. Ruskin doing a good job on the back end to both recover that disc and to avoid uh, the quick stun coming in there as they do get it cleared. And that's open under the goal. Not going to make it and doesn't even get a good bounce back to a teammate as that shot, unfortunately, from Presto is going to go wide. And that is a... Uh, you can't afford to miss too many of those uh, when there is so much on the line here and when these games have been so close as uh, the legend is going to get a great steal here makes a nice move and is going to get that reset all the way back to Furon who's going to take some time move in got some space got man open underneath the legend legend looking to, for that cut pass for the goal doesn't matter which one uh, but now Red Panda's taking their first lead of this game now up 10 to 8 10 to 8 here I hear a dog. Is it? Oh, is that you? <laughs> it was somebody here. Okay. Uh, I was. I was. I thought I was losing my mind. Uh, as uh, <laughs> uh, the, the pass there, far side tube. Sorry, I really thought I was losing it. Halo sending this one up. As uh, Presto will get that one picked off on the far side. Presto turning this one around. We'll get a send in bouncing there off of the barrier. Uh, Presto again, though, with the recovery going over to the legend. That stack, though, still together, still running around 42 seconds. If they get a goal here, that'll be the ice, but it will turn over instead. Skag with the pick off. Hands it off to Memento Mori. Mori sends this one out. There will be in the hands of that chain. That chain turning it around again. It, well, if they get a, if, well, if they get 10 more seconds, that'll be the round. Actually not. That's not true. Uh, but, a, but a goal will end it. As uh, Wolf King, edge of the bubble, sends this one across. Hits the cut. Oh, the, the no look. 180. 
not quite on. Still 17 seconds as it will be collected by uh, Farron on the far side, sending us up. Does get it to Wolf King. Wolf King has Presto cutting. Presto off the head of the goalie. Unbelievable. They will get this one cleared out. They're going to stack after it. Though it takes an ugly bounce right mid. Four seconds. They have to send it in right now. That was going to be off the mark. That will end the game. Excuse me, end the round. We will be going to round three as Red Pandas takes round two. Taking round two in decisive faction. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> there was so much there to talk about. Uh, how about we send over to Meishi? Uh, what did you see there uh, from the second round? Well, I, I saw a very, very huge change um, of momentum. <laughs> momentum Murray, I'm appropriating that one as well. And I have seen Red Panda really, really coming on top of them. Even though Ivy had the first five minutes, and I dare even say the, five, the first seven minutes. But with that mental reset, the mental reset was crucial. The mental reset in that, I think it was the third minute, it was crucial. Even though it was difficult for them to kind of come back from that, they did. And they won. And how did they won? With loads and loads of work. Defense and passes. It was all perfect, the perfect storm for Red Panda. Yeah, for sure. I I, I, I know personally, we've uh, for those of us who have been watching since Ivy's first game, they do heavily reply, rely on that stack and their defensive uh, mindset is built around that stack, kind of bouncing around and applying pressure. It was really, really interesting to see uh, how uh, Red Pandas have kind of adapted to that. Uh, they've gotten a little more familiar with how Ivy is playing and uh, their pass accuracy, they've been doing a lot better job of consistently holding on to that disc and not being forced into bad turnovers by that stack as we are going now in round three uh that headbutt is going to be there and oh there wow. is ivy momentum mori putting that one in for a very very quick two points as we've seen them done we've seen them do a couple times already today a quick 2-0 lead here we're only five seconds in with that one a show in the chat uh, uh acknowledge that pause changed the game uh, and indeed, it did. It did, in fact, change the game. Uh, so it, it gave uh, the Red Pandas that uh, that opportunity to to come back there. They were down by, I believe, it was seven zero at the time. The Memento Mori taking another shot. We're looking for that long one. The other thing I want to point out is the number of saves in that first round. Twenty one saves in one round between the two teams. Eleven uh, to Ivy, ten to Red Pandas. That is obscene uh, in a single round. There, Skag sends that one in. It will instead be Wolf King there though on a turnover here. Uh, only a minute off the clock here. Two-point lead to Ivy as they look for that clear out. Not going to get out. Memento Mori gets there instead. Sends it up again. Yeah, sending up. Not quite going to get it past that shield, though. It was a really tight angle shot there. As Halo now with the disc looking. Has an open man on Nest all the, all the time in the world. Getting away from the defender. And Memento Mori again. Putting it in for two. As uh, Ivy looking like they did right at the opening of that last game. With a couple quick goals here. Uh, and now with Red Panda without having the timeout available to them, they're going to need to find a way to kind of reset themselves here uh, without the the availability of that timeout now. It's time to see if they can do that as it is going to be Firon moving up down the left side as they kind of cut it back and forth, keeping it away from that stack. And they push it down below. You've got the stack. It's Wolf King and Wolf King is going to reset it back to that stack with the legend. It's up it's back to Firon as they keep the disc moving. Oh, but one... One broken chain is all it needs uh, for that to fall apart as it is, uh, well, they're slowed down, but not fully stopped. Presto's got on Bowtie now. And Presto, near side to the Legend. Legend block shot as the goalie was perturbed, but not stunned out. As I uh, did get a shield off there. As uh, Presto will send this one off the near side wall into the hands of Wolf King. Wolf opts for the reset back to Presto. Presto pulling uh, Skag out, but Skag will... Go right back to that chain. They do some more work here. Skag and Memento Mori, they will get it. Skag gets that cleared out through that far side too. Seven and a half still to go in the round. The third round here. This is an elimination round at that. Uh, the, the winner, though, is not in the Masters here. They would still have to win one more. Uh, so a long day it's going to be for, for either team that gets that victory there. As they do get another heave in. Uh, but, oh, no. Memento Mori hits it. <laughs> what a shot. 18 meters a second from 13 meters out. Puts Ivy up by seven. Momentum Mori coming out of nowhere there, just plunging head first into a sea of red pandas to pull that one out. And Momentum Mori now with all seven points uh, for Ivy so far this round and all in the first three minutes as they really do seem to be doing a good job here. A little bit of a miscue on the rollout the other way. 
as it is going to be lost in the tunnel as it's a bit of a scrum for it. Uh, Firon will pick it up for the moment, but no one's going to be picked up. And Skag, uh, with that stack, they're going to clear it high. Looking for another quick one. They get the disc and they get the three. Memento Mori again. Ten points. Ten points for Memento Mori as they are exploding out to a 10-0 lead here. This is a, uh, it's quite a pace, as you might say. Three, two, as I was just over six minutes ago here, 10 point lead. That is a substantial red pandas with a uh, joust advantage. Though that chain is gonna, oh, nope, not the chain. In fact, Halo will get it picked off. Sent, uh, sent two mid. The chain will get it picked up here. That is Skag. Once again, long shot off of the barrier will be collected instead by Theron, though. This one went out. The legend on the far side, summed up by that chain, though. Skag with it. Mental Mori on the near side. Skag sending this one across, though. Will be fair, and with that pickoff, good read there, though. The send out does not get it out of it. Oh, it does ultimately get through. As a, now it will be uh, the legend. Oh, no. Skag with the stop. Turns it around again. That bounce, though, will keep it away from the goal. Out. But the long shot. Ruskin hits that one. Going to put Ivy up by 13 points here. 13 points. This is... This is like nothing we saw in either of the first two rounds as when Ivy is clicking, uh, they are they seem near unstoppable right now and definitely like the caliber of team that uh, definitely deserves to be playing in Master, uh, especially if they're able to play this consistently going forward as Wolf King now trying to slow it up as we've hit what is the halfway mark of this round with a 13-0 score. And there it is. It's going to be slapped back in again. Another turnover. Let's see if they can capitalize as we do have a disconnect, but that's not going to stop them as it's picked up by Skag underneath. Looking for that shot. Not going to get it. Uh, it is bounce back. Memento Mori. Memento Mori again will not be denied. Playing 3v4. It doesn't matter. They're up 15-0 now. 15 to 0, halfway through. Uh, this is a very, very different third round uh, than any of the rounds we've seen so far today, I think, at all. Period. Like, at all. Oh, no, and a scuff launch. That is not good. They almost get that in there. Uh, but it will be a send out there. Fair in at mid. Opting for that reset presto here on the near side. Chain still uh, moving around there. That's, the pass is off. Disc is not loose, though. The legend with a good recovery. Gets that chain stunned out. That's some good work there as Wolf King will send this one in the hands of Farron. Farron back across to Wolf King. Wolf has one of the bubble. Goalie is not stunned out. Goalie is still quite alive. Stunned out there is Wolf King. will bring it in for the two. And just over halfway through this third round, Red Pandas have gotten themselves onto the board. Yeah. It's a it, you got to do what you got to do. And if you're keeping that stack stunned out, it does give your uh, the rest of your offense time to move in. And they did a very good job keeping Skag and Memento Mori uh busy down there and keeping them out of the play it's summer in the chat saying canadians are superior thank you thank you so much uh we 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 don't want to say it ourselves but we always love to hear it um <laughs> as it is uh, cleared up now uh the legend with the disc they've got a stack in the near side tunnel they're gonna clear it back across the other way not quite gonna be able to get that stack accuracy they need to turn around quick but they will still find it and they'll send it back to presto presto moving in got an open man and that is gonna be fear on putting that one in for another two points as a uh, red panda <laughs> they're they're playing a four and three and they're playing it as they should uh and in any other situation uh, it would be very dangerous right now but with such a lead the question is can they really hold uh can they keep up the pace well enough to surmount this 11 point lead that ivy has it's uh mathematically possible but oof. that is a tall order though they're putting the work in right now as you get a turn over there wolf king sending this one out but that's dak that's a Morian Skag. It, you know, they, 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 they are playing 3v4, but it's unfortunate for Red Pandas that one of the the, the player they dropped is not from uh, that two-man stack there, Skag and Memento. There's Memento, another heave there. Presto at mid. Oh, they just pick it off. Then, uh, oop, accidental grab there off the from the teammate. The send in. They're going to send it into the bubble. Bounce puts it literally right in front of the goal there. Uh, Memento Mori gets there, has a lot of time, too much time. Shot's going to be off the mark. And I know it able to get that one recovered. Fair in there instead. Two and a half minutes to go. We'll get this one sent out through mid. A good stack here to pick it up. Presto. Long shot. No, it's going to be a send in. But the bounce is going to keep it away from them. Presto has an open goal opportunity. Hits it. 11 meters out. Going to put them back with an eight here. Are they got? Can they do it? Can they? Can they do it? I mean, it's... We've seen... Well... I mean, this would be pretty... I was about to say we've seen crazier things happen. But a 15-0 comeback would be would be uh, definitely one 
uh, for for the record books, I'm sure. I haven't been around for a while, but I mean, I've, we probably don't see too many of those. As it is going to be picked up. No, it's stunned out in the corners. There is a bit of a scramble for it. Scrag is going to get that clear, bouncing into the opposing team's popcorn area. And they will grab it here. No, they're going to they're gonna miss that pass. And Memento Mori is going to look to clear it in. Uh, but they're not able to get that stack together in time as it will be getting back to that. And there we go. Uh, H -Low, Halo is back in the game. And they still have an eight-point lead, and only a minute thirty left. So they're moving in here, and that oh, that pass well, that shot well, well off the mark. Uh, they get a second chance though, and the legend will put that one in. Cut this to fifteen-nine. So they're gonna have just over a minute on the clock. Six-point difference. Uh, they could get two threes. Uh, so that's two goals. Or uh, there's technically time for three goals, but that's three within twenty seconds. Uh, I don't know how possible that is. Well, just over twenty, like twenty-five seconds. So uh, Ivy here with the Joust Advantage, a minute to go here. They are going to get the pass off. That stack was moving very quick. Skag sends that one out, but it's off the, the popcorn block. Good stack, though. Momentum Mori taking that <laughs> shot. It's going to be off the barrier, though. Instead, Presto turning it around. They have to be threes now. They need two threes uh, to come back here, and they would push in overtime. This one's into the bubble. Instead, Skag off of that chain. Turns it around again. Picked up, though, by Wolf King. That chain's broken up right now. They have an opportunity. They have to. You got to press. We have that. Op we have that opportunity. Uh, sent in. Long shot oh. there. Goalie was not stunned out. As uh, will be kept in though. Farron with it. That was up to the ceiling. Twenty-eight seconds. They literally need to score three right now, and it's not going to happen. That clear out should do it. There will be Ivy moving on. As the shot's not going to be on. Ivy will be moving on uh, to at least one more round. As Red Pandas are unfortunately going to be dropping out here, relegated back to the ladder here in Europe. Uh, good contest, well played. Congratulations, well, almost congratulations to Ivy. Yeah, uh, great, great job there. They, they really came alive here, had to kind of take a step back when they when they dropped a player, but honestly, when they were playing at full, full strength, it was really, really something to behold. Uh, Meiji, what do you, what you got for us for, for this game, which was quite the game. Well, I got one name, Memento Mori. Memento, he, they, they did an awesome work here. They absolutely carried their team. And I have nothing but compliments to them. And I have to say, have to say, even when they were down 15, oh, they were down by 15 points. Red Panda, cool score nine. I mean, there was a three four, but not everyone can manage a three four, even, even that. So Red Panda, I think, um, we have to applaud them. They did a really good job there and they kept up the mental game um, Even though Ivy was uh, superior Red Panda was as well superior in the mental game and if they if only they had more time I think they could have won this So there we go, uh, thank you that for, thank you very much for that may as uh, Yeah, you've got a uh, round three uh, Ivy will take that one. We have another one to get to here in just a moment so uh don't go anywhere we've got uh uh it's men versus uh, synergy uh, uh, right i got that right i did that off off the top of my head uh men versus synergy so uh that's a really exciting one not elimination game but the winner will be moving on to master here so uh, don't go anywhere we'll be back in just a moment
Where our passion is for the future. Where our passion is for the future.
VRWare. Our passion is for the future. Where our passion is for the future. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. I certainly am. Guess what? We've got a match to decide who's going forward to master and who's gonna have to go first versus Ivy to make sure that they get into master. We've got Synergy versus men. It's going to be an awesome game. I'm looking forward to it. But before we get into that, my name's Lucky11. I'm joined on the CocoCast by Doc Education and on the sidelines by Monsieur Demuy. And of course, on the cams, it's Wonder Team. And ladies and gentlemen, how are you feeling about this one? Doc Education, please. Amazing. Yeah, this is, uh, it's coming down to it. As you mentioned, whoever wins this game will punch their ticket. They will be a master tier team, uh, which you know neither neither of these teams came in master tier, so uh, that'll be that'll be big for both of these teams. As you mentioned, though, uh, there is an opportunity for both to come back and fight against Ivy. So we're gonna have two new master tier teams in the EU, and that is that's pretty exciting. All right, well the countdown's going, and I think the stacks are ready. Let's get into the action. And it's immediately off with men getting the disc, but an immediate turnover. And yet another turnover, open three. What a way to start. Sir Dominic puts it in for three. Takes the disc. Steal, steal, goal. Amazing. What a pick by Sir Dominic. Stole it right out of the hands of that back stack. They were ready to roll, but they overlooked the defender in the backside. So great work there. We've got the ace play roll out with the uh with the stack on the qb and uh now they are that stack is re-grabbing the clear has been good the stack is right there do they get it yes so immediate response and locky this game is starting off with fire i can tell you right now i think this is going to be the best game of the entire tournament these are two very strong teams in the ladder i mean men is honestly disputably already a master team they're so so good and they just need to get in now. They just need... I think they deserve Master. And now they just need to prove it to everyone else that they can get Master. And same pretty much goes for Synergy. They're just such a strong team. And I want to see if they can actually get in. And Stefo takes this. Going to cross it over to the right-hand side. Stoti 
Now, sorry, yes, yeah, Stoti is going to push it over to the left. Passing it over to Sir Dominic. Then Stoti once again. Stoti is going to look for that pass. Steppo, good catch there. So he has to lean back a little bit. Limited on options. Finds that back reset. Good call out from Howler there. Now they start moving forwards. Stoti's open on the right-hand side. Pressured by Fiend, though. He's just going to walk this entire way. He's going to keep going all the way down low over to Steppo. Steppo off the backboard. Ding, ding, ding. Not today. That is away from the goal. Stun comes through and it's Havoc around their bubble as Howler gets stunned out. No, Howler gets the stun instead. Howler takes the disc, breaks and grabs onto the block. Looking for this high pass. Looking for the goal attempt. Sir Dominic confirms it. Two points in. That's a three-point lead again. Nice work. Men recovering after that initial missed uh, opportunity in the bubble and uh, beautiful work. Great work by Howler there to fight off multiple defenders and get the disc delivered in. So see what they do on their offensive joust. It looks like they will deliver it over to the right side. Does uh, synergy. Pingu delivering it down. Oh no, takes a bounce off the wedge and it'll be picked up by Howler. Regrabbing stack already together. Do they clear it? Yes. The stack, though, breaks up. That gives just enough time, and now the defenders have broken it up, so uh, it looks like they will uh, they'll lose that opportunity as the disc goes back onto the orange side. So Dominic's going to look for this pass back, but no one's there. Fiend takes the disc. I think he was trying to send it off the nest to bounce into the goal, but not able to make the shot as they lose the disc. And now an attempted clear. It's a 3v4, by the way. This is so weird, and I didn't expect to see this from men. Pingu takes this, sending it back. Oh, to Fiend. They need to make something happen now that they have this advantage of the 3v4. They must make a goal here as Fiend looks like he's... P Pingu is unchallenged and Pingu just walks it the whole way right as they get their fourth player back and they've timed that to perfection to capitalize off the last player. One point deficit. Now for Synergy. Amazing bottom pocket shot at 18 meters a second. Goalie had no chance on that. So let's see what men do on their offensive joust. It looks like they'll run a left side relay, uh, kind of short relay style. Steffo delivering it into the uh, most advanced player. So Dominic now going to move through uh, with the stack, adding pressure. Oh, the self-clear is uh, going to be right there. There are multiple leeches, though. Men do recover, and now they've got a dribbling opportunity. The goal is open for just a moment, but Miss Alexis gets there. Now oh. we've got train. Now we've got Steffo. Now we've got Sir Dominic moving, waiting, holding, passing. Oh, oh. Alexis in the clear, and uh, but it is recovered by men. There's no stopping those goalkeeping hands. What a save and a shot. And once again, another save. No stopping them tonight as the clear's not a good and there's no way of getting the disc out, it seems, tonight. And Stoti takes the disc, gonna buy himself some time looking for the cross right pass. Howler's gonna take it. Howler's gonna move forwards into the bubble. Challenged by Pingu. He's gonna try and go all the way. Sending him out, pass up to Sol Dominic. What a slap pass. Open goal. And he takes the three somehow. Stoti! is insane to manage to find the three from nine meters out with a goalie jumping down to un making time pressure for Stoti. What a slap pass from Sir Dominic and what a shot. Yeah, aggressive play by the goalie getting out of goal, staying active, but what a tap pass and what a finish. Now eight to four, four men moving forward are synergy. synergy. Oh no, they've lost the pass there. A re-grabbing stack does have it. They clear it through, although they immediately get broken up, but they're right back together. Miss Alexis on the backside though, gonna take a shot. That's got a chance. Does it go in? No, hauled in by Stody. Pressure now by Fiend. Gonna find this left hand clear, but it's red. Oh, what a good read by Miss Alexis. Now the shot comes in and a return three. The backhand from Pingu sends them right back to the one point deficit. Wow, both of these teams absolutely finding the smallest of opportunities. That was an aggressive play by men. The clear, if it had been good, they would have been on an offensive attack. But instead, the backline player delivers and an absolute strike for three. Now, a left side relay howler with the disc. Worried about that back stack, but the back stack does go back. And uh, looks like they have broken up now. Steffo moving, not under pressure, does deliver it to the right side. Defense has broken up, so a, re uh, a, a reset does work here. Hanging on, Howler on the on the, uh, the bow tie there. Steffo on the bottom side, the most open player, does deliver it there to the cutter. Stody, no, the cutter. Oh. Oh, right there, Pingu. So some amazing defensive stops on bo by both teams.
Clear comes through, but it's not good enough. It's going to bounce back into the mid zone and recollected by Howler. Howler's going to send a confirmed clear. Bouncing back, though, into it. potentially in the hands of Pingu. Pingu does send it off over to Fiend. Fiend. Hold the disc. Relaxing for some time. Going to be starting to be pressured by this stack. And look at that pressure. They are quick on those turnaround times. As Miss Alexis is going to cross this over to the right. Fiend takes this. Crossing it left. Pingu all the way up. Alexis going to start pushing forwards. Send it back. Over to Alpha Wolf. Alpha Wolf's pressured fast. And a good intercept there from Stoti. As he sees the opportunity. Sends the low clear. It's going to bounce up all the way. Someone's got to recollect it. Miss Alexis does so. Stops it from getting into the goal just yet. Sends high pass. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, dear. That's not going in just yet. And once again, they've not been able to score inside the bubble of Synergy. And what can they make happen here? As it bounces. Oh, but it goes to goal. Is that in? No, it's not. So Dominic stops it. Okay, nice pass there. Beautiful read. Uh, Stody moving forward, not under pressure right now, so just hanging on, holding. Does make a pass, though, to a player who maybe was a little bit more guarded than him. Sir Dominic to Howler. Oh, oh no! Howling at the moon on that one. Going for the top shot and pop pocket, but instead it hit the ding ring. Now it's going to be recovered by Sir Dominic. Two and a half minutes left. We got a one-point game, Lucky. This is incredible. They haven't been able to score. And they've been in the bubble three times now with an attempted shot and no chances so far in this play as Howler sends it back. Sir Dominic going to take the disc. Sir Dominic looking for this right-hand pass. Looking for the cross. Sends it. Howler pressured by Pingu. Pingu nearly gets a stun off, but not just yet. Sir Dominic takes it. Sir Dominic pushes. Under goal. Difficult angle, but no concerns for Stefo. Stefo puts it in for two, and it's no longer a one-point game. It's a three-point game, and that's a lot of pressure. Just handed over to Synergy now with only two minutes left. Two minutes left, three points down. They've run a couple different relay styles, some more aggressive and some more uh, more conservative. Here they run the ace play. Pingu and Fiend are the regrabbing sack. Oh, and it looks like Stefo has dropped again. An opportunity for Synergy, but for the moment, it looks like it's going to be in the hands of men. They clear it through. Can they get a... Oh, Stefo does return. Let's see if Stefo can get back in the arena quickly because Synergy is back on the attack. Alpha Wolf. Maybe looking for this pass close, and it's a good one. Pingu's pressure from behind, though. He's got to go quick. He does. Mr. Alexis takes a shot. Oh, my God. Oh, my. They have left the goal wide open for Miss Alexis, and she will put that one with ease. Three points. Incredible. Amazing. Jumping out of goal was Stefo there, adding pressure, but... Uh... Yeah, left the open three, which is not what they wanted. Now, tie game. They've got to do some work. Sir Dominic with the disc, the most advanced player. Stefo nearby in the area. Stack is now coming in. Pingu redirects, passes over to Stefo. Stefo with the disc, has Stody on the, the top side, does deliver it there, but was oh under pressure by Alpha Wolf, and that might have caused that little bit of a bit of a scuff, but they do recover. Now they're moving in the bubble. Three players on one. Sir Dominic from below delivers, and we're going to have about seven seconds left for Synergy to respond. Oh my god, they must go quick. They ha they've been running a reload though a lot. And if they go for it again, they're going to have to be on performance. 10 seconds on the clock as they come out of the launchers. Let's see it. Quick left, double left it seems. They send the second pass. It's pressure. The shot. It looks in. Oh! Alpha Wolf. What a shot from Synergy. They are insane to not only score, but make it a three and win the round. Synergy. I am speechless. Sir Dimbley. Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Say that again. I was, I was ready to talk about how men uh won the round uh, <laughs> uh uh i uh that's that really took me by surprise what a uh what a first round victory there synergy 13 12 unbelievable that long that that relay that see, that kind of shows you the, the the strength of the relay when it's not red is uh it, it can very quickly get you there uh the, well, although i believe in this situation the relay was red the, the, just the passes were on uh first round though you gotta point out uh miss miss alexis and pingu versus stodius or dominic it's kind of been the two 
particularly uh, contributive pairs here though Haller with 19 stuns uh unbelievable uh but that's that's kind of where I've been, I've been watching these pairs operate and it's been a lot of uh give and go passing a lot of uh with, with their in sequence they read each other really well there's a lot of good communication uh but then they're also stacking around really effectively and i'm very curious to see if, if i don't even expect adjustments into this next round i expect them both to continue doing what they've been doing to be honest yeah it's so close and and i just want to see another one of it as we already see the ton of and they were getting a repeat it seems but this time without the extra steal as now they have an opportunity oh unchallenged fiend puts it in for two and that's how they start off this one they started off just like they ended it scoring and putting themselves in the lead wow i'm still i'm still blown away by men yeah. not having a goalie in goal um really really missed an opportunity in round one let's see what they do here with their offensive joust they have a conservative left side rollout double stack defense for synergy stefo with the disc uh front stack getting stunned out but now howler's lost it so uh both stacks are operating for synergy uh one does retreat though uh front stack still adding pressure uh beautiful passing here though by men moving it up the up the up the floor and now they've stunned one out they've got an opportunity but howler can't hold on to it it's gonna have to be picked up by stefo but stefo getting punked and now pingu delivers it three players going in for synergy oh. and they deliver the two so effective defense after that slight mistake there by men really taking advantage worse synergy the defense i mean the overall play that from synergy amazing defense good turnover good clear followed by a brilliant stack to back it up and then just it's easy from there from that point on, they just go for it. It's, look, Howler's looking for this stun. Oh, it's nowhere in sight. But guess what is that three? Maybe. No, it won't be. It's a slap away. That was close. They're going to go again. Another three cent, but no Howler's on stuns. And he's going to get a hand on that. Wow. That stack nearly had yet another opportunity as Pingu's going to take the disc. Pingu maybe going to look for this back pass into tunnel. Finds it. Now Fiend going to have to duke around. Give his player some time to get further away. Oh, the trade-off as they both stun each other out. But Howler's there first. The only player unstunned, he sends it down low, maybe looking for that pass, but that pass was not there. Alphawolf looking for this cross low pass, will it make it there? It won't, but Fiend will get there anyway. As Fiend sends it over to Pingu, Pingu, Juki around, not going to be able to get there. Oh, a missed grab, maybe Stevo won't get it in time. No, he will. And he will be looking for this left hand clear, potentially. Alexis does go for the pressure, but not there in time as the clear comes through and Pingu manages to take the disc and Dax are on it and they're going to go for this clear and boost. Yeah, amazing jump out by Howler on that defensive play. Now a dribble. Goal is open for the moment. Pingu going to get there first. Stoney got that stunned out by Fiend. Pingu finishes, and Synergy is on. And now going back to the last round, a 9-0 run. And we do see a timeout here. Um, probably a good decision. Slow things down. And, um, oh, it looks like maybe it was... Uh, yeah, I think probably out. to wait for Staffo, yeah. I think I think we were waiting for Staffo, but it looks like they're going to use the whole thing. No, we're back in immediately. Yeah, we're back in. But, I mean, every single play, every single goal that Synergy have got this round, it's just been no challenge. No, no possible way to stop them from scoring. Either they stun out the goalie and just put it in nice and slow, or there's no goalie in sight and no players to back them up. So... So far, this has just been a breeze for them as we see a missed pass and the stack. Wow, coming in from the opposing half as Howler managed to get a hand on it. But no, it's stolen. Open shot. Not in, though. And that is something you don't expect from a team that's doing this well. As Stefo takes it this. What a steal. Fiend puts his hands out and shows that he can play as a goalie. And he can juke around with the stun. Enzo there. Another Enzo to follow it. It's Pingu now trying to get back to that block. Looks for the goal. Finds it. 8-0, that was insane. The turnover read to the double ender to the goal. Yeah, that was just two players winning one-on-one -on -one battles. Uh, two different uh, ender. Well, one was uh, one was a steal and then uh, uh, I think a dusty or maybe an ender. And then, uh, yeah, was, another ender. Yeah. And a beautiful finish there by Pingu one-on-one. -on -one. So right now, Synergy is just winning the one-on-one -on -one battles. And uh, they've got an eight-point lead. Yeah. See the disc getting passed back out. Howler 
Gonna float through. He seems unchallenged until Pingu comes around there. He's gonna juke it. Oh, ho, ho! Pingu with a brilliant grab to manage to stop him from going around. And what a pick to be able to grab that. He knew he didn't have time to go for the stun. The goal would have been able to go through anyway. But no, he gets the steal instead. So that's a good pass. Howler with another follow-up good pass. Steffo takes this. Looking for that difficult angle. And they forced him to take the shot early. And it's not pretty as it doesn't go into the goal. As we see the turnover eventually come through. Slap goes out. Doesn't go out all the way, though. This might do. No, once again, heading back. Open three attempt here. Sends the shot. Not accurate. And they really needed that. They need this. They must score off something here. Yes, they do. Howler finds a two. Low down. Six-point deficit now. Wow. Oh, man. Lots of opportunities there for men. Uh, synergy. Uh, some Several opportunities to get the disc out. Couldn't quite clear it. And they do end up giving up two points. So let's see what men can do on their defensive joust. Can they get some pressure? Can they get a steal? They run a double stack. Oh, no. It's already loose. And the double stacks are moving. Steffo with the disc juking. Going to take a shot. Does it go in? No. A little bit wide. It's going to be picked up by Alpha and the attempted clear. It's going to go to mid, though. Sir Dominic immediately under pressure. Howler over to Steph Stody. Stody back to Howler on the shoulder. Down to Steffo. But Pingu says absolutely not. What a big time save. Pingu does not care at all how many passes you do. He will just save it. And look at that goalkeeping hands in the offense. Ding! Oh, that would have been amazing with the steal and the juking from Pingu. Pingu with the end-to-end -end play. Oh, my. This player is spectacular tonight. He is doing amazing on defense and offense. And it is showing on the scoreboard. Eight-point lead for the side of Synergy. And to think... They were losing by, what, three points at some time at the previous rounds and think that it looks more in men's favor for most of the game. They've come into this one carrying that momentum forwards as Haller gets a good dusty there. Looking for this cross left pass. So Dominic's not going to get a hand on it. That stack certainly will as they will clear it forward. And look, they're the ones that are backing up and once again unchallenged by anyone. And Fiend puts it in 10-point lead. Wow. Yeah, Pingu is insane, uh, really carrying, but also Syn Synergy is, well, they're showing some team chemistry because every time they get the disc, they are getting the disc out of their hands very quickly. Their stacks are absolutely flying. They're picking up easy shots, and they are reacting to wherever the disc is now on their defensive jowls. Pingu and Fiend are the front stack. They do break up for just a moment, though, immediately recollected. Now they're adding pressure from the backside, and they do get the stun out. It's going to be off to Sir Dominic, though, and the beautiful reset. Stody over to the right side. They've got to score here. Okay. <laughs> In a must-score situation, Howler delivers, and now they're going to have to add a lot of pressure because down eight, if they've still got three minutes or almost three minutes, uh, but definitely need to uh, need to get a stop here and a turnaround. That was just really good from Howler. I mean, the players from Synergy, knowing that he's got that zero angle, decide to push him and force the shot upon the difficult angle, trying to get him to mess up, but... No, Howler's having none of it. He's just going to duck both of the jumping players and manage to get that goal with ease. Oh, and it's an open net, and Alpha Wolf sends it. It's not in, though, as it bounces back. Stack will recollect. Howler takes it. Maybe it's going to go back into the hand of Synergy as they're very close to the disc. They won't be on it, however. Stefo sends the shot, potentially. Not in, but it's close, and it could go back in. It looks like it might ding, and it's not back in, but they will recollect, and they will send a shot. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Miss Alexis with the save. Absolutely clutch to save that opportunity. As Sir Dominic sends a high pass over to Stoti. Not going to make it, however, as Bingu gets the slap out. Insane. Some, I mean, some amazing defensive stops, some amazing saves here by... Synergy are really clamping down. I mean, to take men, okay, this is what they need. Oh, they men have also left a lot of points on the table with some dings on some big time threes. Granted, not the easiest, shortest threes, but definitely makeable for a team like men. So uh, this is, oh, well, not going to miss that, Pingu. Now, 11 points up, and with that, going to be putting a ton of pressure. We might almost already be out of time for men. Pingu has, I just want to say, transforms as a player. This is not the old Pingu I remember. Pingu, by the way, if you don't know, has been playing this game probably since, I think, season two. 
Maybe, maybe not, maybe season three, but he's been playing a long time. And he has always avoided the like top level gameplay. He's always stayed decently away from it, but never have I ever seen him more ready for it. Oh, what a steal, but the shot won't connect with the good save. I've never seen Pingu more ready to take Master and look like that's exactly what he's about to do as Pingu takes the disc yet again, juking around, making that stack have to work towards him. Now Miss Alexis gets the disc on the reset, 40 seconds. Miss Alexis sends the pass to Pingu, and Pingu, bam! There it is! Another two, and that's just going to keep feeding Pingu extra points. He has 18 points. This man is a force to be reckoned with this night. 18 points, seven saves, three assists. Pingu definitely pouring it in, and uh, yeah, headbutt strat, nothing to do. 13 points down, nine seconds left. Uh, absolutely no way to close this one out. So men are gonna go on to fight I Evie uh, for the oh. the last ticket. But congratulations, Energy is master. Wow. Yeah, that incredible. Didn't we? Please take it away, man. Honestly, I'm not gonna hold us too long because we do have uh, only one more to get to, and you know we've been going, we've been going for a solid two hours today. Uh, so definitely want to allow people to get to that final matchup, that uh, that last one, uh, Men versus uh, Eevee there. Uh, but uh, got to shout out Pingu. Although, look, if, if you're playing uh, what I like to call uh, stat bingo, uh, you look over the board here, every single player there on Synergy has something uh, in one of those columns, points, assists, and saves, every single one of them. Uh, so you know, Pingu absolutely firing off but also had the support there as well it's one thing to have a one of your players uh completely on fire and, and carrying a game it's another thing to have that player firing off while everybody else is still performing at an incredible level uh so that, that's all i'm really going to point out here uh, also saves obscene number of saves of synergy mostly because of pingu but also for to miss alexis uh two uh, the alpha wolf and uh, one to fiend there uh but with that yeah we have we have one more to get to so i don't want to hold us for too long and I want us to be able to get to that, that final game here. So uh, right back to you guys uh, to set us out. Yeah, I mean, incredible game. Pingu did so well. Uh, seven saves and then the 18 points. But as Dim, we said, let's get into the next game as soon as possible. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back very shortly.
Starware. Our passion is for the future. Where our passion is for the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all having a wonderful night. My name is Lucky11, I'm joined on the co-cast by Sir Dimwi this time, and sideline, it's going to be Dark Education, of course. Don't forget, on the cams, it's on the T-Man. We've got an interesting game, this is 
it. This is either do or die. We've got Team Men going up against Ivy. It's going to be an interesting one. Didn't we? How are you feeling, man? How's, uh, how's it going? That was a brilliant last game and going into an even more tense one, even more on the line. No net behind this one. How are you feeling? I'm pretty good and uh, uh, especially confident in, uh, in that, you know, uh, prior to 1776, the colors red, white, and blue did not exist. But Howler, Howler's uh, player, I'm going to be keeping an eye on in this one uh, after that last game. Although the real, the real pair here, Memento Mori and Skag, have been doing a lot of heavy lifting with their stack here. I'm curious how that stack is going to pair up against this this exceptionally talented men team. Although men on the back foot right now after taking quite the loss. Uh, in that third, in that second round, uh, but I, I, I'm excited for uh, for this one as we as we uh, get into it. It is an elimination game. The winner will be, move on to Master Year. The loser will be relegated to Ladder. Uh, this is probably the most painful loss a team could take in this entire tournament. Was, oh, Halo sends that one in. Stody gets a hand on it, but it still goes in. That's going to be two points to Men. Yeah, good start. A uh, very good start. And they had this start in the first game. Against Synergy, just immediately putting points on the board with, within within a, a relatively small amount of time. In the round. But let's see what Ivy can do back. Ruskin takes it, sending it over into the right hand side. Oh, ho, ho. what a grab and what a shot, maybe. It looks in and it is. Oh, my Stoti with the steal and with the shot. Wow, that's a long shot for three. And I actually got the call backwards last time. It was Stoti who got the goal, so that's two in a row for Sony. In the first minute, five points on the board. And there was a lot of, uh, I believe it was Stody and Howler doing a lot of the work in the last game. Uh, four men, at least in the uh, the first round. This one into the bubble here. Opportunity? No. Not going to have it slapped away, I believe, by Stody. Speak of the devil. And bouncing off the near side wall. Skag with it. The pocket picked by Stefo. He's going to turn this one around. They have a stack together. That stack. Oh. Got to contend with the other uh, stag memento stack, and they are going to get oh. there first instead. That's what a stun, a double stun there on the competing stack. Although oh. there's a headbutt to knock it loose. Yeah, they took too long there. stoney has got the disc. Now going to send it back all the way over to Hala. Hala's pressured by this stack, and the stack gets broken. Not ready for the pass, though, as it goes off his head. And now it bounces down low. Look at that stack recollecting, but look at that steal from Hala. Hala backs away and somehow still has the disc because he crosses it right low over to Steppo. Steppo looking for the backboard, sending the shot. It's uh, Dominic to end it all out. Seven point lead. Now they are running away with the money right now. Yeah, uh, men are are making up some ground after that last game. Going up seven points in the first two minutes. Not even two minutes in. Or, well, excuse me, just over two minutes in. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, the shot. That was an interesting bounce as it comes right back to them. Uh, Stefo trying to strike it down. It won't happen, though. Was, uh, I believe that was Ruskin. And it sent through. Skag, long shot off the barrier. Metamori hits it for the two. Yeah, interesting. that's unfortunate. Yeah, hands just dipped into the bubble there and made it to two. Oh, just barely. Yeah, seven meters, so just like the player's actually behind the, the bubble and he gets his little little finger uh, right in the bubble and that's going to make it a, a two rather than three, which is unfortunate because that could have definitely been helpful. You see the first, joust advantage, the side of a man. Not of the night, they just had a lot of them in the other game, but this game, this is going to be their first look. They already have this leech, and Howler's so good at these. Hala's so good at just holding a stack back, and he's he's just there. They're, they're out of the game right now, and they're playing 3v2, and they must make it work somehow, and they don't in time, and look at this pressure from the stack. They're going to create it into a very unfavorable opportunity. Hala does get the pass back, though, bringing him back into the game. Look at that pressure. Oh, my God. They are already through, and they're already pressuring. Look at that clear. It's all the way through. Can someone back it up? It's right next to the goal, ready for the taking, but no. The Dominic's going to be the first on it. Excuse me, and now this one's sent in here near side. Halo, though, stunned out. Stefo's going to get this turnover. Uh, though the clear is not out. That stack, once again, Memento Mori with that one, sending this one uh, back into the orange bubble here, careening around. We'll, stay, we'll keep it away from Halo. Uh, and ultimately, Stefo touches it, stunned out. Uh, well, oh, there's 1v1, Ruskin bringing it in, hits it. Gets it in for the two, and Ivy is going to be back with a three here as uh, they cut that lead to so seven to four. 
One thing I'm noticing is how the saves tonight have not been on point. I mean, I, I'm not saying that to, to mean anything because not, not any goalie should be saving me, but it's not any goalie. It's Howler, and Howler, I, I always know him for being probably the most annoying goalie to have to play against because he seems to save almost every single shot. And tonight, he's not hes not done that. He's not doing that in this game, nor is he doing it in the, was he doing it in the previous game? We see this crossover up. To Sir Dominic, but no, he doesn't manage to get a good grip on the block and he's going to be sent away from it. Stozy with a good luck there is going to be able to pick it up. As they have this stack. They were prepared to put put defense in their own half as now the stack is just holding here. He's, they're trying to bait out this first pass and then rush it, but no, the, the pressure around there, they split up for just a second as the and Stozy is going to use that time to get the two in. Back to a five-point lead. So men are gonna push up and uh, keep that uh keep the uh the I forget what word I'm forgetting. Wow. Redundancy. Anyways, Ruskin, quick pass here near side. Uh oh, got a relay. They get by the defense lock shot, though. That was gonna be quite wide. And a good stack to pick that one up. Stody with it now. Or men as they turn this one around. Send up to Howler. Howler looking to set up the clear as they get the two in deep. Stody is there. Oh, the bounce off the cloud block though keeps it away. And it will be a turnover. Skag gets it picked up. Turning this one around now for Ivy. Oh. So into the hands of Howler on the back line. Howler turning it right back around. Stody with it on the near side. Letting the team set up. Setting it up. They've got an opportunity. 1v1 against a goalie shot. Sir Dominic hits the low side quarter pocket. Putting men back up by seven. These clears are starting to get predictable. I gotta say. I mean, they've sent it low every single time. And I'm not against low. I think it's probably the best place to ever clear because the, the tunnels are too used. So people usually mark them. And then top mid's always seemingly cleared, covered by someone lurking around there. So I feel like it's one of the strongest clear options. But tonight, Howler's reading it every time. And they haven't been able to get out of their own half. And they must be able to do that. Because if they've got a turnover in defense, it's such a big thing. They must connect off of it. Maybe not making that first clear. I mean, they just clear immediately. And... Potentially, they need to pass around a little bit, get closer to that mid zone. Then when they do go for the clear, it's going to be a lot harder to grab onto and then much time to react and get into position to stop it. They do say that. We're going to have a passing play here by men. They're looking to push into the bubble. Stefan's got the disc. And this is just a... It's easy. That's so easy for them. I mean, it, it's... Howler's got space. Stefan's got space. They can choose whatever option they want, no matter what the outcome is the same. And that's men coming out on top. Yeah, it's going to be a nine-point lead now. Three minutes to go. Still in it. Ivy is in this first round. But they will need to start scoring uh, rather quickly here. And uh, rather soon. As this one gets sent in, Skag's going to get there. Gets it picked up. Long shot of the empty goal. Ooh. Goes just wide. Out of the bubble was uh, ooh, ugly bouncer. Puts it in the hands of Study. Study's going to get stunned up. Momentum. Bore over to Skag. Hits it. Or the two. Bringing it back with it seven here, so uh, yeah, that's what they needed. See if uh, they can uh, do anything with it. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate as well from Skag. He got a really good leech onto the stack and managed to push up, and he went for the three-point shot, but it was just a little bit off, and they certainly needed that, especially in a, a nine-point deficit. It, it's very useful to be able to get those, but they'll work with what they get, and now Stepo's going to take the disc. Look at this leeching capability from Howler, though. They get unstunned, though, and they are away. And look, they're going to re... As soon as you leave that stack unchecked for one second, they're on you immediately. But guess who's on the disc? It's Stoti. Defo looking for this pass. It's going to be whiffed, and they will have to recover that. They will do so. Sir Dominic with a good bit of movement there to get away from the players from the stacks. As that looks like it's going close to the goal. It's just going to be above, bouncing back down low. Recollected by Stoti. And now an attempt on goal. Stoti! Floats high, sends it low. There's a two. They're back in with a nine-point lead. Yeah, it's a minimum of three goals required. Uh, so still time, but only barely. They have less than a minute of effective time uh, to, to get this comeback. So it will be uh, uh, quite the, uh, the challenge, but Ivy... Certainly uh, ready to accept that challenge. They send this one in, although the bounce is not going to be favorable. Though somehow Skag is still going to get there. Skag with the pickup. Turning it around, no pass options. Jukes is way in. Uh-oh. Good stop by Stody, and then good re Oh, uh oh my god. All right, a whole lot happens. Momentum Mori, though, is going to get it in. Brings his team back within seven. Although without a three, 
Oh, they are going to, uh, they're not out, uh, they're not out of time, they're, they're kind of close, they're kind of basically out of time. They're, they're out, yeah, let's be honest. They're, they're not out of time, but let's be honest here, that's in a world where things are perfect, and it is certainly not perfect yeah. tonight. Yeah. So, this is definitely out of time, and it's, it's a good first round for men, but they're not out of time to win the game. That's just one round, potentially two more to go, so let's see. What they can do, if they can get some goals here, that would be that would be very crucial. I mean, they just need some a bit of momentum back. They managed to score that two points up. This stack, by the way, can I just say, from Skag and Memento Mori, so good, is so good. And guess what that shot is as well? Yeah, so is. good. Yeah, Sir Dominic gonna put that one in for two and just absolutely put it, put the nail into the coffin as they are now nine points up yet again. And yeah, dangerous. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, the stack uh, does a whole lot, a whole bunch of heavy lifting uh, for Ivy. Unfortunately, it's just not enough here. So, oh, almost one more there at the end. Uh, but it will be 17 to 8. Round one going to men. As men are now only one round away of getting, uh, of earning that spot in the master tier. But as we go to this intermission, Doc Education, uh, that was uh, quite a round for men. It was. And I heard uh, the stack mentioned. For um, uh, excuse me, Evie. Uh, Martin Third called it out. Lockie and and Sir Dimly, you guys both called it out. Skag and Memento Mori are adding a lot of pressure. But how are men responding with basically with perfect passing? Uh, if you see the way that they move the disc up the up the arena, whether it's on their offensive joust, whether it's in transition, they are able to reset, swing the disc around, swing the disc side to side, get a stun out or even if they don't get a stun out on the stack, just, I mean, I, I don't know that I've seen hardly any of their passes go awry. They're just, they're perfectly delivering it. They're perfectly in sync. And so what that's what that's leaving is a stack that's chasing air. Um, and so Skag and Memento Mori are, uh, they're, they're not able to get enough effective pressure. And then uh, what's, what's happening is eventually the men are finding themselves in a bubble offense situation where they've got two or three in the bubble and they're just able to absolutely dominate and get an easy score. So let's see if that, but the thing is one pass going awry, one disc getting loose and that stack can get on it and then they're re-grabbing and they're scoring. So this game could turn around in a heartbeat with just a, a little tiny uh, set of inaccuracies from men. It absolutely can as uh, someone slamming the door. There's a howler. Uh, we're back here, round two, first touch, uh, Ivy in possession, excuse me, men in possession. And we'll be Sir Dominic from Howler getting that one in for the two, so 13 seconds in, men have made an early statement. Yeah, I had to the door there because my dog decided it was a good time to come in and uh, give, me, give me a bone. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate that, it's completely muddy and my uh, jeans are a bit more muddy, but it's all good. It's all good, He's, uh, it's worth it for how cute he is, so... Uh, we move, but yeah, already starting off like they did the last game, two points strong. Look, back. Even even in a situation like that, where I don't think it's even smart to stack, they still do it. It still works really well. Now they take the disc. Stoti sends the shot. What a save! Oh my! There's the stack, and they're good at not only offense but also defense. And they get that steal. But guess what's not good? It's that clear as it goes straight up. Now straight back down, bouncing all the way through. Who's going to be on it? And look at that stack from men. Overshooting a little bit. Pressure comes in from Skag. Going to be able to get it? Maybe no. Howler dukes around. Sends an attempted clear, but it's not good enough. As now we see H low going to be able to get the disc. And the clear comes out from Steffo. Bounce into this right-hand pocket area. Stack re-picks it up. And another shot is going to be denied out by this stack yet again. This time, however, they're going to be able to recollect. Steffo sends it cross left. Oh, the players have to go for an ender and a stun on that player there. Now we see a push. I mean, if we said Dominic, going to send it back. Good decision, knowing that there's a lot of pressure in that bubble. There's a lot of blue players. We see this pass coming all the way down. Steffo, look for the shot. Oh, what a save. Oh, wow. What a jump and what a save. As Sir Dominic takes this once again. Skag gets a stun. Memento gets a grab on it. Now the disc is not cleared properly. Sent over now to Stoti. What is happening? Open shot. Oh, wow. my. Oh, what a shot. And in chaos, Stoti finds some organization and finds an open net. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was, that was something. Uh, both teams a little off balance there, but uh, men are able to capitalize on the chaos and get that one in for the open three. Ivy noticed the goal was open, saw that they were in transition, tried to get a player there, but were just not able to 
Uh, not able to quite make it happen. It's a big setup here. Look at that lock shot. They answer, though, just as fast. Eight seconds later, Skag hits that one for three, assisted by whoever then Memento Mori. Yeah, and that's that's what they needed. They needed that three-pointer. That could be a little bit of momentum. I mean, they're only two points down. They can see what they do. The joust advantage, though, man. Howler going up high immediately. The stack is disassembled, though. And that's going to slow down their pressure and give Howler some time to think about what he wants to do. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to stun out that stack. But look how agile it is to be able to get away from Howler immediately. They've recollected once again. And now they're pressuring immediately. Howler going to pass over now to Steffo. Steffo crosses over to Stoti. Stoti. And the stack is still formed. They're going to be able to recollect this one. Surely as Memento takes it. And they are the only stack in the field. This is the one good thing about keeping a stack in your defense. If you get a turnover, you are the stack available as Howler manages to get a hand on the disc though and goes to the clear now potentially a shot coming through here nope it's gonna be taken by Howler and moved up field sent high potential goal here so Dominic gonna duke around sending it back to Howler Howler sends the backboard no Ruskin gets a stun there and stops that player as a slap comes from HLO into the hands of Skak who flicks it out and tries to get another clear but no taken by Stoti again Stoti sending it up for Dominic oh Wow. Goal is open just enough for Sir Dominic to fling that one in for the two. As they're going to go back up by four here. Men are still, they're doing the same thing, maintaining uh, that lead just enough to, to stay in a comfortable position. Okay, let's see what they're going to do. That's weird. Wait, does that stack not come from tube one? Did that stack not come from tube one? What? I swear that stack came from tube five. That's it. What? What? No! No! Oh my god! You know how I said Howler wasn't having a good day in go Well, there it is! Somehow! Not able to get a save when there's two goalies! A three-point shot comes in, nine meters out, one-point difference now. That was appalling from men, to say the least, and there's not what ex you expect from a team like this. Certainly not. Uh, that is uh, quite unfortunate as they, oh, they also get a drop out here. This is unfortunate timing. In yeah. the second round is Ruskin. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Ivy's only down by one. Ruskin set it up to Skag here. Skag looking for the impass. Oh, Ducks won. They get the player back, but Skag moving his oh, way in. Oh, oh, oh. Goes in off the head of Howler, and that is going to give Ivy the lead here in round two, eight to seven. So unnecessary as well. He had an open man. Memento Mori just sitting up on Nest as open as anything and Skag's just like nah I don't need it really do I he just pushes the whole way and finds it in off Howler's head as Howler tries to fade out this stack he wants to get them close Howler's been trying to do this all game he's always looking for this leech they do eventually go for this pass and look Howler goes for it but because of that it's gonna leave two players stunned out because of that stack and now they do manage to get the disc turnover Howler's gonna get it once no Howler just again he just wants the stack to come to him he doesn't want to have to push anything they do get a quick stun on Howler though before he gets to clear out and look at that stack this stack is just incredible no wonder Howler's just constantly trying to stun them out because what else can you do and now they are stunned out and look they are helpless three points goes in as soon as you lose that stack you lose this game yeah uh yeah as uh Stoney is gonna get that one in for the three Losing this, yeah, as it's it's uh, the stack from uh, from from Ivy has been uh, we've been talking about it literally all day since uh, we covered him. Uh, uh oh my goodness, Stody, what a dis what a uh, interception! The shot's just off the mark. As that makes his way to the near side into the trap here, although out of reach of Stefa. Stefa does ultimately get there, but he's under assault by that stack. Skag and uh, Mental Mori still still running around right now. Stody far side sends it back near side. Howler back to Stoney far side. That stack is playing monkey in the middle. Whoa. Big stop, Halo. But good recovery. Steffo puts it in for the two. That's going to put his team back up by four. The speed of the passing play that men just did. I mean, not 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 like how fast each pass comes through, like how, how quickly you can take a pass, like pass, pass, pass. But just every single pass had such force on it and such power coming through. It, it's just, and so accurate as well. Having your passes like that can just transform a team because it's like no player has to concern themselves about how the disc taking too long to get to them and 
potentially they get pressure by the time it gets them and no team has to worry about slowing down to get the disc or doing something else to move your path to get the disc because they always get it right on the mark and it's such good passing from men so dominic sends it back to howler howler gonna get pressured he's gonna look for that low pass it's a good pass but that's not a good receive as the stacks looking to recollect that of h low and ruskin not able to get a hand on it as this reset comes through stoti has a hand on the disc. He's just going to chill back here. Sending it up high left over to Howler. Howler sends the shot. Oh, my. Oh, no. An unstunned keeper has missed it again for the second time this game. Maybe even third. I'm not so sure. But at least it's not a three like the last time. Also interesting. Uh, Stefo was dropped again. But got in again. Gets back in so quick. He's, uh, he's so expectant of himself to drop that he he's ready to oh join no. back in. Oh, no. Big opportunity. On that turnover, they're looking at a 4v2 only for a moment. But the pass across there, Stody on the far side. Has one below, one above, one in front. It will be the one in front. Howler with the pickoff. It's stunned out. Memento Mori and Stag gets that one picked off. Excuse me, Skag. A Skag sends that one out. It's a long shot. It's going to be just off and just wide. So collected by Halo on the far side. Halo ducking. Moving in, it's stunned out uh, by Stefo. Stefo coming away with that one. Stunned out himself, though. We'll be collecting Memento Mori. Moving in, a Skag. Moving to the goal. Hits it off of the head of Howler. Back with him for our Ivy. They're trying to keep their hopes alive here uh, with only a minute to go. Man, they're looking pretty good. They just have to run the clock. Why is everyone tonight throwing it at Howler's head? Every single time this fist question. goes in, it seems to bounce off his head. I mean, if it's going to go in, at least it's going to go in off his head. Then he's not going to let anyone have any points. It's his. Oh, my God. Too long holding the disc. But what a save from Howler. Knowing it's going to hit that backboard and just dives up so he can reach it that little bit more. But the stack with a great turnover. And they're looking to turn it over again. Look at the speed. Howler gets a good jump, though. Gets one stun. Maybe not going to get the second on them, though. No, the stack are away once again. Going back to Howler. They're sending it to Howler because they want him to get that stun off. He's not going to get it this time. Now it will be taken by Stoti. The secondary stack. Backup stack already on that one. Clear comes through. It's going to go up high. Bouncing around. And taken by that stack once again. They're always playing this game. At no point are they the main character of this game. Oh my. And a three goes in. They won't have time though. But what a game it was. What a round it was. Only a one point difference. And looks like they won't get into master this time. But maybe next time Ivy. It will be men this time. Stock education, anything else? Congratulations to men. Yeah. Um, a lot of master tier players on the team, and now the team itself is master tier. So we've got men and Synergy punching their tickets going on. I mean, uh, also, I just want to say congr congratulations to, uh, to Ivy as well. Really, really well played. I really enjoyed their, their stack meta. Um, you know, I'd say keep working on it. And, uh, you know, like I say, I mean, hats off to, to men for just really perfect passing because if they had, uh, if they had had any, anything else than perfect passing, I think this, this game could have been completely different. Um, you know, a few turnovers and, um, and you're off to the races for Ivy. So, uh, very nice work and just, just really, really enjoyable on, uh, on all fronts. I couldn't have put it by myself. Didn't we do you have anything before before we sign off for, for EU Challenger Cup? Well, just make sure to come back in two and a half hours for North American yes. Challenger Cup. And tomorrow, we have the Elite Cups for both uh, 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 excuse me, uh -huh. Europe and North America at the same time. Uh, 1 o'clock Eastern. So today, we start at 1 o'clock Eastern, uh, 6 o'clock London. Uh, that'll yes. be the same time again tomorrow for the European uh, Elite Cup. Well, that is all from us, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Lucky Eleven. I've been joined by Sir Tim Wee, Doc Education, and us on cams. It's man. Thank you all so much for checking in and watching this. Congratulations to Synergy and to Team Men. Hard fought battle, but guess what? They're in Masters. Thank you so much, all, for watching. Have a wonderful night.
VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products Border Foods VR Cover ProTube VR Rebuff Reality and VRWare.net